Ain't dead. How are we? I put a bit of intro. I put a bit of work into today. It was ready for last night, but life gets in the way. Stream deck's not working, but we'll deal with it. As always, boys. Woo! There she be. How we doing? Ryan, thanks for the uh, sub buddy. Appreciate that. Go for running. Yeah, I've got to skid right. I've, I've fiddled with a lot of things this evening, guys. So, um, if stream's a little bit off, anything, just let us know. Because I've. I've Changed a lot of things. Changed a lot of things. I might have missed some it. I might have missed some it. Let me just check my levels. Joe is the Chelsea manager. Music's loud. I imagine it will be loud because I haven't turned it down. There we go. We're on. Let me just put my stream deck there. That'll make it a bit easier. I need a bigger desk. Right. I do have hundred percent zoom. Is that a problem? If you do, uh, Nelly, if you do exclamation mark skin, it will come up and tell you. I've done hun I've done Zoom because of the skin. I haven't tried it on the... Um... Hey, Adam. How you doing, buddy? So do I. I gathered some streaming equipment. Ooh, minus the desk. That's kind of a functional thing, dude. Hope you're well, though, mate. Right, we've got the friendly because um, I never got it done for the Patreons. And to be honest, I don't think anyone on Patreon was asked about. Seems that my Patreons are just tactic slags. There you go. I did a video on it yesterday. Right, so we've got a pre-season friendly, the last one, and then we're getting into the league. Now, for tonight, boys, we are going to be playing on extended highlights, just so I can get a little bit of a, bit more of a feel for the, for the team. No. Oh. Don't talk about teeth, Jace. Cracked my tooth today. Front two. Ah. Absolute disaster. Drinking too much pop, him, he says. Car brakes on Friday, tooth brakes on. Sunday. Nightmare. I'm on Pepsi Max tonight as well. Oof. Cause I'm off the I'm off the I'm off the alcohol. And I have been for 14 days. Right. It is, it is extremely clean, Jess. So basically, for anyone's not aware, 
you probably know about the story of Malaga. Let me turn that volume down. It's killing my ears. Story of Malaga. They're now in the third tier. Money's not great. We have got probably the best. Well, we're favourites. We're heavy favourites for the league. Like, ridiculously favourites. Two go up. Uh, season preview. 10 to 1 on. So pressure is on. Hey, Kai. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, I'm hoping to make it a real regular thing. Because I enjoy it. It seems to do the channel good when I get into a real rhythm with it. And also, I'm curious of making sure my, I actually get through and finish a save in good time. Sounding in time, it'll be the camera. So if I do that, and then do that. That should normally fix it. Oh, we don't need to be that close, do we? Don't need to be that close at all. I hate having the living room in the background, but I can't really do much else about it, boys, to be honest. We're Malaga Blue tonight, though. Well, dude, good evening. Is that better? It does that sometimes with the camera. It's because it's the Sony camera. It, it needs a little bit of love and attention to get the quality out of it. Right, so we're Malaga. Now, because of all the tactic changes and because I bottled it like Eric Ten Hag in FM23 with Eagles, the main thing of the save is that I pick a tactic and we stick to it. I was going to do three tactics and say that we couldn't move them, but we are one. We are 4-2-3-1. I can change player roles. I can change sort of like, you know, we might have two DMs. We Sorry, we might have... Two DMs and three three players in the midfield, sort of like Strata. We might go with three narrow sent we might go with three narrow sort of like attacking midfielders, but it's a 4-2-3-1. And we must always play with a Trequatista. That is the be -all, one of the be all and end alls because of the channel being Trek. We don't use it enough, we're gonna do it. And we're gonna stick to our philosophy as well. Um, dominate the ball. As you can see, we've got much shorter passing on. Play out of defence, overlap left and fairly narrow. Um, we're taking our time, slightly lower tempo, much short passing. So we're, And we've also got roaming playmaker in there, advanced playmaker and Trequatista. So we've got a lot of things. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Joe, he's all right. Thank you. He's all right. It's his birthday on Thursday, so um, he's very excited. Right, let's play a friendly. I want this to be my strongest team, if possible. Kevin's back in. People to look out for, boys. Danny Sanchez. He is a uh, left wing back. Who looked really good in pre-season. Um, so far, he's had two goals in seven games and four assists. We've also got Roberto Fernandez. Wanted by Toulouse already. Good up and coming striker. Poacher, good aerial, good aerial reach and stuff like that. So Oh Vold Voldem's a good save. It's a good team, good team to pick. Hey Sting, how you doing, buddy? Here she is. How you doing, pal? I thought you'd be in bed. You got work early. You got the 3 a.m. start. I'm eating my last of my MMs, just obviously not to help the tooth. You can see why I'm drinking Coke, drinking Pepsi and sweets, chocolate. That's maybe why the teeth are collapsing. Uh, he's eight, Joe, on uh, Monday, Tuesdays off. That is one long, beautiful weekend. Oh, yeah, because you're streaming in the morning, aren't you? I'll be, I'll, I should be there. I painted all of Ralphie's bedroom today just so I can make sure I get in your stream tomorrow. Uh, Amy's good. Uh, someone said Amy's good, mate. Really good. We've both had a bit of a, a stomach bug over the last few days, but um, she seems to be over the worst of it now. Um, done her first week as a 
qualified nurse now as well, so that's cool. So we've actually got some fucking money coming into the house. <laughs> but yeah, life's good. I hope everyone is well. Nearly up to 50 people on the old YouTube, so we'll take that. We will take that. So we are playing Marbella. Um, I think there are a couple of leagues below. Fran Beltran. Where do I know that name from? Am I... Is that Arsenal? I've just been stupid. Yeah, I've just been stupid. I just had in my head, I recognised him from somewhere, but obviously not. Yeah, lots going around. Loads of kids off at schools at the moment, Joe. I've had a, a quieter week in terms of teaching and stuff. Celta Vigo, yeah, I'm here. You're probably right there, dude. You're probably right. Thomas, you might be waiting a long time for that. There we go, Celta Vigo. But basically, they are in the fourth tier. So the one one below us, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five teams go down in that league. Right, we've got the Renty skin on as well. After the video that I did the other night, um, I decided that was the skin for me, even though I do love the Statman one, and he's made some really good tweaks to that. I'm just not sure if I want to really go a tribute list for the save. Right, so this is friendly, so we can chill. But we want, well, this is an opportunity to see some patterns and what we've got. Right. I said I wanted to go on extended highlights tonight just so we don't miss everything. Because I've been on this save for ages since the game came out, like, what, all week? I've been able to do pre-season really slowly, and it's been really good. Right, so the patterns you will see are our advanced playmaker. So he's on the left wing. Attacking midfielder, but we've got him as a sit narrow and with him being an advanced playmaker, he should tuck in and he sucks everyone in and then we work it where we get Danny Sanchez down this left hand side. That's what we're aiming for. And then he delivers. And then Fernandez scores. Or Gennaro scores. But yeah, that's that's what we're after. Check with T's I'm a little bit unsure of how it's gonna work. Of how he fits in. He's ended up, it's ended up being quite high up the pitch a lot of the time. So like playing in, here he is now. But he ends up going up alongside the other centre forward. I said as well, with the Trequatista, we want someone with a name. So next season we will, we will sign somebody that everyone knows in terms of a name. It could be like a 39 year old Roberto Salado. It will be somebody. It will be somebody. How are we finding FM though, guys? I am absolutely loving it so far. I've not really dived into anything apart from sort of like the match engine, really. So all that transfer stuff I've kind of ignored. But I'm absolutely loving it. A Dutch Trek. Who who's in their who's in their mid mid thirties that could do a job? Love it. Good. Loving it. Who would be in their 30s, Joe? Oh, sorry, Jess. Far too... See, I didn't... Because I didn't... Yeah, we've got... Because I didn't play that many games in the beta, it was hard for me to get, like, a sample size of it. Has there been a lot of hate? I saw you tweeted that thing with... Has was it Hassan Bula? Isco. Well, no, I don't think we've got the facilities for that. Oh, my height, my, my gold things are on uh, 2D as well. Sorry to be an absolute nerd. But we might be able to learn something tonight, eh? I 
Our well, first game in the season as well, boys. <laughs> Only for the hard car. Hey, James, how you doing, dude? I did it just so I could see the movement of um, these two. My worry is that the advanced playmaker and the Trequatista, who has just scored, are just going to be too close to each other. Look, they're very, very... That was my attacking left midfielder. He's coming really narrow. But the Trequatista does end up going a little bit higher. And acts as like a... He's pretty much... In, no, they're all in there. Look at them. Flew, flew in the box. Danny Sanchez is probably going to get the most assists in the league. Hey, Sig, how you doing, dude? It's it's good, mate. We've, we have, we've just played the last preseason game. Um, but so far, so good. We seem to have built uh, beat a de decent tactic. I've been skinning all day. What you got for me, Jamie? Buzz it. Mate, I've, to be honest, I'm, like last night, I couldn't do it. Because uh, Amy, literally, Amy was in bed all day, being poorly, and Ralphie was here, and I felt really harsh coming home, and then having Ralphie sort of like, like she made him food and stuff, but he had to like just chill out by himself during the day. So I thought, right, I'll, while Amy was in bed, I thought I'd spend some time with it. And to be honest, I was absolutely knackered. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I ended up finishing because tonight I'm. I'm well up for it. That's what she said. Yeah, so I'm putting some on tomorrow, uh, Jace, actually. I don't think I've got any extra. I think I've only got one in extra large, though. I get loads of time wasters, so don't worry. <laughs> Ooh, get out there. So there's my Trequatista look. I'm surprised how high he gets. Like he's literally we're kind of attacking with a 424 at the moment. You got Arsenal. What the shirt? I do like the away one. Ralphie got the away one when we was on uh, when we were on holiday. Um. And when I took some photos. The shirt is It could be AC Milan's third shirt. Won the treble first season with Rangers after we do second season I think Oh nice, you're for, off on your journeys already. Is that your main save then, Jamie, or is that just sort of like rolling on from the beta? Uh, it'll be 15, including postage. I think it's that one. I'm not 100%. I can't zoom, on the, zoom in on the picture enough to see. Tell you what. When the stream's finished, or when I go for a toilet break, I've got the shirts just in the next room. So I'll dig them out. And then I'll let you know and I won't, um, I won't post it. I tell you what, I haven't touched... I tell you what, I'll tell a lie. Um, I haven't touched corners on this save, but I've been doing a Leverkusen save for the Xavi Alonso tactic video that probably out to hopefully tomorrow night. And we've got this thing where Granite Xhaka and Florian Verts have been at the edge of the area and the corner taker has just been setting them. And they've been absolutely smashing them in. We just had three camped here, so instead of him crossing it, he would just lay it here to this guy. This guy would lay it off and then Xhaka would just hit him. I don't think we're going to get players like that, though, are we, Jace? I thought we wanted someone who was, like, 55 playing in there. 
Gan you know, we want Ganzo, don't we? Them sort of players. We need the old... Uh... The old Dutch player. Come on, hit me with some attacking midfielders who are in the 30s, boys. Dutch. That's a good goal. My, my main gripe about the tactic so far is we dominate games. <clears throat> but we always concede. That's what's been the thing in pre-season a little bit too much. But we don't seem to be having... Struggling with pressure. But, you never know. Like, I'm really on. Really unsure about, like, first game Atletico Madrid B. God knows what they're going to have in their team. I know um, we're playing Castilla, which is Real Madrid B team. And uh, is it Gula, the Turkish wonder kid? He's in the B team. So we're going to have to deal with him this season. My average, Dan. My average scoreline is 44. It could be, yeah. It could do a job. We'll be picking freebies up. I haven't got the uh, transfer window on this time. So we could make a China in January. But to be fair, we haven't got the money. Our big thing with money is that we're paying a million pounds a year in debt. We've got about two million left to play. So the first two seasons, we're paying a million pounds. So that's a lot of money, sort of like in the third tier. So very important that we get out of it this year. And then the flip side of that is... <laughs> We've got Ricardo Horta with a sell on with a sell on clause. So Ricardo Horta is a bit of an FM dude. He goes around a lot, moves around a lot. He's at Braga, really good, but he's reaching his peak. But we have a 15% sell on clause of him, and he's worth about 20 to 35 million. So if he goes for 30 million, we're getting what? Maths, Matty. What's 15% of 30? 10% is three, uh, one point, four point five. So that would absolutely set us up. The aim is after in season four. Season four would be delightful to be in uh, La Liga. So a season in third tier, two seasons getting one season building in uh, La Liga two, and then the third season getting promoted. That's the plan. Oh, well, it's a good chat. We'll take it. We'll have a little look at him. I'm just going to put this onto key highlights now. I tell you what, I am going to do. I'm going to make a whole host of changes first, boys. As you can see, the player's fitness is pretty good. Now I'm putting that down to us being quite slow tempo. Like our intensity lo levels are really low. Um, and I think that's obviously because. <clears throat> The plan is to keep the ball as much as possible. My, unfortunately, my biggest earner and the, probably the superstar in the team, Sag, Saganelli, it doesn't fit our tactical kind of profile in any positions which is a bit of a nightmare to be honest but there's not a lot we can do about that now oh is there that sad I'd actually advise I'm not going to do a little cheat I'm not I didn't realise there was a wage cap. That will make it even more interesting. I like that though, Six. I like the idea of a wage cap. Hey, Logan. Yeah, I am probably going to probably retrain him. Just thing is, he's not going to be that... What do I retrain him as, number one? We will... There'll be more videos on training, individual training as the weeks go on. Uh...
potentially an anchor. He's got a good sort of like... Uh, it's just his tackling is 11. Yeah. Yeah, we're all good, Logs. Thank you. Ralphie's birthday on uh, Thursday. So he's quite excited. Hope you're well, mate. Oh, don't, put a, don't put a dampener on it, Sig. Don't put a dampener on it. And to be honest, that's fine. That's fine because we went chasing everything. We dropped all our morals and ideas and stuff to chase the glory last year. And we never got there. And if we never get there this year, but we've got this team playing like they are, we'll be everyone's favorite, second favourite team, won't we? And I'm tech that. Tech that. I'm happy with that. We'll be like Brighton. Everyone loves Brighton and Spurs at the moment, don't they? Unless you're an Arsenal fan. Uh, the 16th bit. 16th. He'll be eight. Right, we've absolutely battered them there. Which you would expect, they're the league below. Just checking the heat. I've not, this is the first time I've streamed, boys. This is the first time I've streamed with my fans, my new fans on. I've not had the side. Do you remember I'd, uh, I put videos saying... Um, What was it? Oh, like a desk, sorry. Man went completely blank there. Like a desk fan. I'm just turning my fans up a little bit. Just turn him up a bit. Um, I don't know if he's watching that. He might be upstairs. He should be going to sleep in a minute, but... Uh, basically, we're turning his room into a gaming room. Basically. I think if he would have... <laughs> because he's a, he's a bugger, he could be... He could be... He could be lurking, but normally if he's about, he normally puts hello... I imagine he's probably not. He was talking to his co his cousin, his uncle on Discord <laughs> last time I went up. But yeah, we're turning his game. So I painted it. Um, he's got some wallpaper, some gaming wallpaper, his new bed, um, new TV. He's got a 40 inch TV coming um, with like a gaming bed, an X Rocker gaming bed. He's got a double bed as well. I'm putting loads of lights, like um, uh, LED lights under his bed, and yeah. He's got a football shirt corner as well, like hanging them up and some photos and stuff. So it'd be pretty cool. I'll put some photos on the Discord on Thursday once I've done it. I've taken some on Twitter. Have they gone off? They should have gone off on the timer by now. Right, there's two wires. If you follow the wires down, one has a clicker and one has a twister. You just twist it till it goes off. So yeah, I've got that to I've got that to do. I've got to build a bed on he's sleeping in our room on Wednesday night because he's getting all the wallpaper and stuff done on Thursday on Wednesday night, maybe even Thursday now. He goes to school, he comes back and it's all done. He doesn't know he's getting the bed. Yeah, I know. I know. It was only because of the t the TV. Um because we got him a big telly and then we saw this uh this bed that has like uh, a pole you, basically the TV fits to the back of the bed at the bottom of the bed, but what it can do is swivel. So he can sit on his chair and look at the look at the screen. 
or you can swivel the TV around and look at it from bed. And because it's a 40 inch, um, it only you could only get the double, the single bed only went up to 32 inch. His telly's 40, so we got a double. And then it's sorted, innit? It's sorted for the next 10 years, hopefully. But yeah, it's cost us a fortune because we had to buy a new bed. But he'll, he'll appreciate it for all of five minutes. Right, it's game day, boys. Oh, I was going to show you one, 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 a hotter. Bloody distracted and talking about bloody birthdays and fucking painting. Right. He's wanted. I need to get set up so and decide what I want in all these little... All these little bits and bobs, to be honest, but but he's wanted by Chelsea and Newcastle, so he may go in January. There'll be a thing. There'll be a thing in the in the Patreon Sigs, uh, Sigs. But basically, let's get to the team screen first. We're kicking off the season as well. We've got this dude to come back as well, Ramon uh, Enriquez, who apparently is the best anchor we've got. So, patient out from the back, we try and build in a 3-1-6, so the, we've got an anchor who will sit, the inverted fullback will sit and defend, he's more of a centre-half, so that's why he's playing there. The left wing-back's going to bomb on, because he's complete wing-back on attack. Molina has player instruction of sit narrow, advanced playmaker, he goes in there... So we end up looking a bit like that in possession. 3-1. Obviously, these three are, are more central. He sits. He often goes into these areas. Winger stays wide. Sanchez, the fullback, is really wide and aggressive. And so far, it's looked bloody good. But it's the league now. We're starting. We're ten to one favorite. Ten to one on favorites. Not ten to one. Uh, yeah, he is looks. Thank you. Yeah, he's he's looking at. It. He's loving it. Yeah, the the playmaker is the best part. Is the best part, and you'll see. So basically, we're we're creating like an overload in the middle of the pitch. We work it through here, and then we get Sanchez on the on the overlap. We're gonna play on uh, extended highlights anyway, so you'll see it in action. Hopefully. So we need to get started. We need to go. But uh, by the way, I'd appreciate it, boys. While you're here, just just tickle that little like button for me. Apparently, that helps the uh, the algorithm. The more people touch it, the more people hopefully pop in at some point. I don't know how it works on YouTube, to be honest. But everyone else says it, so I'm going to say it. Right. It says we're favourites, but that's a that's a worry because we're playing Atletico B. Is there anyone in there you recognise? I imagine some of these are going to be... Like, the goalkeeper is worth a lot. <laughs> no worries, Jen. Hey, Habs, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I think people never used to use two playmakers because Miles once said it in like a pre-game sort of like stream. Can't do two playmakers and it's it's not true at all. Obviously, we're playing with a Trek with Tista and um, a Trek with Tista and an advanced playmaker. So here they are and they do get quite close to each other, which is a little bit of a worry.
this is my camera angle, Jay. So I have the analysis one, but it's, I think it helps you guys a little bit by... Whoop, we're in. Danny Sanchez must score. Blocked. Um, I think that you're playing in my kit as well. I've got the other two coming. Do they? I think they're predicted to finish about 8th or ninth or something. JP, the downfall for Malaga is mental. It has. Especially in just have not... We've scored. We're up. My right back scored. We've scored a set piece, boys. Get in. The downfall for Malaga is mental. I remember, yeah. I think that, that, look, that's the reason why I've picked the safe, to be honest. It's a bit of an obvious one, but we've got our own little caveats for how we're going to play this year with it. Uh, uh, maybe, probably, yes. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Right, there's my trick with Easter. Sanchez is so good at crossing. Like, wh whatever our recruitment needs to be going through the leagues, our left wing back needs to be like Alfonso Davies esque of absolutely bombing down that left side. The poacher should get plenty of chances. Right, we've lost out there. We have got a high press on. The idea is that we get the ball back as quickly as possible, but we, we keep it. That's a great ball. Roberto's there, just over. Right, let me sort this out. I had it set up. Ah, that's the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Uh, stats. Was it that one or that one? No, it was this one I wanted. That there, like that. Stats there. My boys. Boom. That's what we wanted. Wide. Yeah, well, the, the reason why I've gone for Poacher over Advanced Forward is because I don't want him to work the channels. Because I've got a winger and a complete wing back, and because we've got players in and around sort of like Zone 14 or Box 14, whatever you want to call it, um, I just want him to work on the shoulder and get in that six yard box. It's as simple as that with him. Did they, Ian? That's nice. I'll definitely, I haven't really done the kits and stuff yet. Uh, cheers for that, buddy. I appreciate that. I will uh, definitely get them downloaded. I've got kits off a lad called Jacko has actually made the kits for me in the game, which is very nice of him. Um, the Malaga kits have been custom made, but yeah, it'd be good to get all the. I need to get the I need to get them all basically. I haven't done any of the kit work really. I think because I've been playing in the Bundesliga over the past week with Bayer Leverkusen, obviously they've they've got all the kit packs there already, so. So technically, Jace, he's still he's still there. He's not registered in the game, but according to Wikipedia, he's still the chairman because he kind of owns it but has lost control of it. And I think that's why the club has basically struggled so much because they don't have any out... Because he essentially owns the club, there's no money, like, coming in. There's no investor. I think we get a second here, boys. Oh, nearly. The only thing is, we're quite the the front, the first eleven. That's it. I'm not. There's not much else in terms of like. I wouldn't say. Would I say quality? Yeah, the the quality is a little bit of a drop off, especially in the attacking areas. But I still think we're going to have enough. Like. We've restricted them to only three attempts, none on target, an XG of 0.12, so I'm happy with that. We've had 61% of the ball with an XG of 1.79. This dude, Kevin's really good on the right, right side. He's really direct.
do some changes though. They were playing Ibiza tonight were um Malaga. They were drawing 1-1. One, one. Did they? Oh, here we go. That's what we could do with a little bit. I, to be honest, I wouldn't want like a massive takeover to 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 kind of kill the save a little bit, but the clubs in real life, the clubs kind of just like dangling. You know, they'll probably no, they're not even. They were about fourth for fifth. I haven't seen where they were. I've, I've been after the weekend, but right there we go. We're up. There's going to be a lot of one nilers, I think. You know, boys. And this is what I did. I gave up with this last year because I was unhappy about the amount of ball that we had. And are we doing a breakdown of the tactic of the car? Oh. And then we'll do the tooth after. So I've had a broken car and a broken tooth mat in the space of three days. Car's fixed. I got it back. It was just a fan belt, but it was that was still eight. Like, it's due its MOT in. Four weeks. No, three weeks. Which player would you pick on the back of the Malaga jersey? Oh, um. Probably Batista. I do like Duda. It's a bit of a niche pick. He was there through thick of it. I'm a bit annoyed as well because Duda is in the game. If we go to club and we go to Legends, Duda's in the game. And he was actually at the club. Don't have any he's coaching. He was at the he was definitely at the club. He was a hundred percent at the club. Speller's youth development. Scouting and stuff, but he's gone. And we, I've already asked him to come back and he won't. Isco, Camacho. I wonder where's Camacho now. Julio Baptista, he's a manager. There's the B team. It's the Velador he beats. Alberto Luque. Oh la la. He's not bad, he's got good mentals. Jesus Gamez, he's not even in the game, that's strange. And also, Ignacio Camacho's not in the game. I'm really surprised that he's... I don't know why he's not in the game, but... I thought he would have still been playing. Yeah, we've... Uh, I was, I was going to start the game. I was going to go into the edit, because obviously I've put my mate Nath in it, who is my head of... Head of, he's my head performance analyst, so we know this dude. Me and him, he used to go to school with him, and he's currently a standard Liege. But I've put him in the safe to be with me. So I was in the editor, and that's the only change that I made. I was thinking, do I get rid of the assistant manager and start afresh? And go out and punch someone? But I thought, no, this first season, we'll keep it as as best we possibly can. The only thing that I want to start doing, though, is, is the training. And keep my eye on training. Because I am going to be all over it. But I just haven't set it up any... I did it for pre-season. That was in sort of like the video two that was out on Thursday. But I hadn't actually changed anything since. Where are we? We've only got playing Wednesday, Saturday. I'm busy, guys. Busy. The games are going like really thick and fast here. Oh, did he? Did he? He was like one of the last. Um, he was like one of the last big sales that they made. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Yeah, we're doing that. We've just started our first league game. We've just won 1-0. Zidane's son is kicking about at Castilla still. Hope you're well though, mate.
And I'll do it. I'll do a whole video on the B, the pathway, as I'm going to call it, and how we're going to do it. I've read a blog, a couple of blogs this week, and I'm kind of going to nick a couple of their ideas. Of, I have an idea of what I want it to be, but then really hone in on the types of players that are in the B team, and like any any. I've already said like any sort of like fluff, and lads not at the standard will be unfortunately shown the door. Oh, our goalkeeper is fit, which is beautiful. We've also got Ramon Enriquez. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with him yet. I imagine he could probably play that. He can. He can. So he'll probably go in there as a roaming playmaker. Have I put that goalkeeper on the bench? I have. He's out of the squad. That's fine. Right, he needs to be in the squad. Is this the Renzi skin? Tried it on my 1920, but even zoomed out. There were panels missing. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I've got it on 100% zoom. Uh, where's he at? Is he at Oviedo? Elisu, Elis, Elisu was a good one as well. Carlos Kameni, he's actually still in the game. <clears throat> if we need a goalkeeper. Natural Monreal, is he retired? Dario Silva. He was only there for a season though, boys. Yeah, he's over here, though. <clears throat> I'm not offering any contracts yet, Jace. I'm literally waiting. Uh, not going to wait till I'm going to wait till about November time and then see where we're at. I don't want to leave it too, uh, too late, but um, yeah. I'm keen on making sure the, the money isn't wasted. I do want that. I do want that player to follow us all the way, though. Of Bebe. <laughs> He'll be old as well, right? He did quite well at, like... Was it Rayo Vallecano? Yeah, he did quite because he. I watched him in a pre-season friendly again at Man United last year. I'm sure he came on. He was at Vallecano. I'm sure he was at Vallecano. Roberto, yeah, we're up. Recreativo, one down. I think they used to be in the top league for a bit. Did he get in? I haven't put work into the box on either, um, just because, I'll change that, because you boys don't want to see that, do you? I'll change it to behind the goal. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember now, I can't remember what I was saying. No, it's gone, completely gone. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. I would interest to see how much he's rate... How much the goalkeeper... I'm starting to think these goalkeepers... Like, that is a horrendous mistake, right? That is horrible. I bet his rating doesn't drop. He should be down to about a five after that. Six point six. I don't think the goal... I don't think the game... 
Still got that mile somewhere. Game over. I don't think the game recognises that as a mistake by the goalie. That's one of the only things that I've noticed so far. We've scored again. Nelson Monte. Have I got Golazzo? I have got a Golazzo. Oh, we had him. We had him last year. We put him in my uh, Portuguese save with the uh, with B Sad. He was awful. Nice win. We're breaking. Ooh. My other option as well, like one tweak of the tactic will be once we get a really good inside forward that at times we'll get rid of the playmaker, um, especially coming on late and we're chasing games, we'll get rid of the playmaker and probably go with an inside forward on that left-hand side. Oh, they're pressing high, these boys. I can just kick long. I don't know how I feel about that. They've edged it, you know. We did give him that easy, the most easiest chances, I suppose. That would have been quite... Their chance would have been quite high on the XG. I was on the helpful end of Edison decided to pass to Marcus Rashford. <laughs> I've had it about three times in this save. I've played about, tw about 20 games with Leverkusen. I haven't had it, but I've just noticed I've had it three times with two different goalkeepers. But it doesn't recognise... The game doesn't recognise... Oh, what count? Offside. The game doesn't seem to recognise that as like a complete fuck-up. It doesn't even... It doesn't mention it in the commentary either. Own goal. Right, we've not started well there, second half. We got a 2v1 in here, we did. Oh, towed it in. Absolutely towed it in. The hope is that we just wear teams down by pass, 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 pass. These are pressing quite high. They have been pressing quite high. We've given them two goals, boys. That's nice. Lucky. Unlucky. It will keep... Yeah, probably, yeah, exactly, Owen, yeah. Although the Everton player who passed to the only... Yes, we've scored. My advice, we go back in the past to regain my past success. Carry a Paraguayan lamppost. And, and a Vela's, Venezuelan striker as well. Rondon did very well in like the in the early years of the of the new ownership before he went off to Ruben Kazan. I think the season they got in the Champions League, he was like top scorer. He's got like 20 goals. These are giving us a game, these boys. The first game was pretty comfortable. Like, they, they, they've had a decent... Not many chances, but we've given them high on the old XG. They're in again. Goalkeeper's done well. But look, they're pressing, they're pressing quite high. They've got, like, one, two. They've got four there. And he's making, he's making us kick long, and it keeps coming back. Because we're winning, I'm just going to play him as a halfback. And I'm going to bring, actually, on Enriquez to play in there. 
Let's see if we can build with a build with a bit of a four. Just to give us that extra body. I don't know if we'll see a clip of it now. Right. Da Danny Sanchez is struggling with injury, boys. We do not want that. Victor Garcia is on. Yeah, we could. Actually, but the tempo's not that high. So I'm slightly lower. We'll put it on the other slightly lower. <laughs> A little bit more slightly lower. I think maybe just because how the game's gone, Jay, especially second half. Come on, Kevin. He's knackered his Kev as well. Ten left, boys. Tackle. Oh, I've lost it again. Yeah, I knew they were going to score. I knew it. I knew it. Because we've, and that highlight, we've given the ball away about two or three times. Yeah, it was, yeah. He's still in the game. He's still playing. I'm sure he's back in South America. <laughs> no, you're the <laughs> We've not got on the ball in the second half. Might sneak a win just because we've got Roberto in there. Get in. I need to get um I've got goal, 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 goal. I've got that, so I need to get that. Oh yeah, he's at river, yeah. Right, it's 4-3, boys. Jesus. What did I say after the last game? We'll have a lot of 1-0s here. Roberto will score a lot. What? <laughs> See how fast he wanged the ball back at him there. Oh, play him. Oh, he's kicked it out. Jeez, that was the ball. We're nearly up to 60% possession. We've managed to pull it back round in the second half. Especially the last, last maybe 10 minutes or so. I said we haven't got play it into the box on, working to the box. Just because run, um, Roberto Fernandez, he's so good. There he is. He's got another one. Is that a hat trick? Nice play from the left. Our backup left wing back as well is um, pretty good. So there's my AP look. If I go back. There we go. By the way, I've got Malaga things up as well. And they will change every time. I've got about 10 Malaga legends there. So uh, B Train, thanks for the sub, buddy. I've got them on like new Patreons and new members and... What else do I get? Uh, subscribers and stuff like that. Super chats. Right. So he's taking the throw, bizarrely. I don't know why he's taking the throw. Throw it then. So watch it. He'll naturally just start to come inside. Like he drifts inside. And it pulls the right back up. It pulls the right back in. And then it gives us that free man there. And Gassi has done really well. And Roberto looks really good getting it in the near post. He scored four. He scored four, boys. That'll do, won't it? Cardiac ball. No, we, we don't want that, Jace. I'm trying not to give you a... Oh, it's a good save from the goalie. What the frig was that? I'm trying not to give you that heartburn. 
I want everything to be, you know, we know what we're doing. They're going to score again. I'm fixing, fixing my chair. It's on the list for Christmas. Yeah, with Deviak, I think that's more of the game, Sigs, I think. <laughs> but yeah, the build, I'm, I'm really chuffed with that, the team I we're building up. Now we're really exploiting this left-hand side. There we go, we're done. Win. We only had nine shots, six on target. Two XG of two. We took our chances really well. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how we've played there, boys. Cheers on the Pepsi. There's a bottle of wine in the fridge, but decided not to open it. I'm trying to get through all of November without having a sip of alcohol. The missus is not. Missus wanted to do it for a couple of weeks, and when I said the whole of November, she weren't so keen. So we bought a bottle of wine on Friday, and then we didn't drink it because we started to feel a bit poorly. Hey, Deck. Well done, buddy. How are we doing? You said you were going to be popping in. Hope you're well, mate. Bloody hell, I've just discovered that Brindy Esper. Did he? Who's your local team? Don't care what you say. <laughs> that might be your, that might be a, probably your heart though, Jace. But you, I want us to be function, really functional and calm. Hey, numero uno, sombrero. How you doing, buddy? Six a.m. Where are you in the world, Desi? Desi? Dekisi? You put all in white. All oh, right. That must have been very early in his career. People from all over the world. We've got Malaysia. We've got the Isle of Wight. Jace is in Cyprus. Sigs, you're not in Norway? Probably got that wrong. You'll say Denmark. I'm sure he's Norway. Yeah, I got it. I just want to check. Man, my PC is blowing. I'm so pleased that I'm kind of annoyed that I've, a lot of specialists have done my, looked at my PC for the last 18 months. And for the last year, I've had the side panel off and fans blowing in to keep it going. And then I've literally spent 15 pounds on three fans. And it's worked. Yeah, Matt, you're in my fridge opening the wine. It's a... Uh, I mean, it's a nice little Pinot Grigio, I think. I don't want to open it now because I'll empty it all out. And I'll be rough for tomorrow. Or I'll waste half a bottle of it. I would say to that, I'd text the missus, but she's head on because she's in... She's just started a new job. But she's back at work tomorrow, so... Get it open. So I text her. If she says she, she wants a little glass, then I'll open it. You're not helping here, Matt. You know, for all you know, I could have, like, alcohol dependency issues. I'm trying to keep clean. Let's see what she, she might be already asleep. She's played football today, so... Scored her first goal of the season as well. In the team's first win of the season. She went for a boo. She went for a booze. I'm sure she went. She went to the pub after. I think she had a pint. She might say no. She might say no. I'm earning. There's a song there, Jess. Hey, Mads, how you doing, Mad Scientist? Hope you well, dude. Are you on the old editing train? I'm really good, thank you. I'm really good. Yeah, 
This is the, I can't remember if this is the way or the third. I can't remember. We've got, uh, I've got the other two shirts coming. Ah, oh, she's put, no, I'm going to sleep now, my love. You go for it. Ha! If we get to 40, 40, ooh, I want to say 50 likes. 50 likes on the, on the stream and I'll, I'll have a glass of wine. So there. It's only on 30, it's on 31. But the idea of wine now sounds amazing. 32. Let me just, I just wanna check preferences that my save is saving after every game. Yeah, that's fine. 35, 15 to go. <laughs> yeah, I do, yeah. I miss, uh, normally it's the, the beer, like, we. to be fair, when we kept, because we obviously we drunk a lot on holiday, and then when we came back off holiday, we had a really bad week with food and, like, couldn't be asked to cook because we'd been used to eating out and stuff, and we had a lot too much wine, we went on a couple of sort of, like, trips and meals and stuff, and we ended up supping a lot. Cracked a couple of Stellas. I want to get the Mal the beer. I want to get this this Malaga beer, which apparently they sell in Morrison's, which was really nice on tap. Right. We're going to start with Danny Sanchez. He's not 100% though. I am going to start with... Oh, I'm not going to start with him. He can come on again. Enriquez. Match load is really heavy for him at the moment. But I think after this one, we have a week. Do we have a week off? Like a week, like a week between games? Mm, yes, we have eight days after this. Right, let's get back to a clean sheet, shall we? 1-0. 75. No, Madri. No, 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 no. Is it? San Miguel from there. Um, it's called. It, it looks like he's got Donald Trump. Hang on. They're the kits. Somewhere there. Looks like Donald Trump, doesn't it? So I had a pint of that in a in a the most amazing burger place ever. It's like a M little Malaga franchise, and it was absolutely wonderful. Apparently they sell it in Morrison's by the bottle. So I've been told. But yeah, I like I like to have a couple of beers, especially. Saturday nights as well, because my I work Tuesday to Tuesday to Saturday, so it's like a signing off for the weekend kind of thing for me. Yeah, Victoria, absolutely. From that's it, mate. Yeah, the Victoria Malaga. That's it. Yeah, I do don't mind a can of Madri, but I thought we'd keep it. But I said I'm on Pepsi Max tonight. We're 15 likes away from a glass of wine, boys. Come on, come on. I'm thirsty. Right, Real Mercy, another team that have... There used to be a player in the old, old FM champ days that I used to always buy a striker from Mercia. I think he was called Gilles. Is there? 
didn't notice that. I really, when we got picked up on the way arriving in Malaga, it was it was dark. It was the night time, so we couldn't see anything. So we drove right along the coast, but on the way back, on the way back to the airport, we did. It was in the day, but I didn't see that. I saw Malaga's training ground. Hesse, what was the Trequatista? I was at a beer that I've never heard of, Jace. Go on, hit it, Danny. Donny's in. Oh, he's blazed it over. He could play a part. He could. They're the kind of ones we like, Jace. It's a good, uh, Jason. That was a good. Uh, I like that one from you. Went out to watch Forest. Had a few. Then ended up staying out for Chelsea City. Grabbed. Oh, you're living the dream, Matt. Takeaways. Your little takeaway in there. Little walking home. Donny's dropping in. Oh, Dionny. Oh, lovely give and go. Molina rebounds. We're pushing, we're prodding, we're prodding. Made a good start, boys. Yeah, I think he plays somewhere. In... We'll have a look after, shall we? You've ordered a Mackies. I don't know how I feel about that, Matt. I feel like you could have ordered better than that. We go to Mackey's. We went through a stage of going to McDonald's every Monday and Tuesday night because Ralphie is a terrible eater. And after he's swimming on a Monday and football on a Tuesday at York, it gives the opportunity for him to eat a burger, chicken nuggets and chips. So we used to always go. And I used to always get, get bored and never know what to have. And every new burger and stuff they have is just the same burger. We're like renamed. I'm more of a KFC man myself. Kids, only they do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Especially him because he's a fussy ass. Fucking hell. I can't even get normal chicken in him. All right, Gennaro. We're prodding. We could do with a goal, but we're not going to panic. We're not going to panic at all because we've scored. Has he gone downhill? I haven't been it for a very Just that... Sitting in your car with a big chicken and straight in the old gravy. Get on. He's in Brazil. Shit. It'll be a free transfer soon, won't he? But they're just, they're literally, like, I don't want to, I feel like we can kind of carry the position a little bit. So as long as he's at a level of, Technical and mental's been okay. We can take a little bit of a hit on the Trequatista because of what we're asking him to do. The main thing, if I could really improve, would be the double pivot. The two sixes. I love where he gets into that space, Molina. Love it. Deli hard, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That would be emotional. We love that, Jace. That's a tremendous idea. I could do a probably a... In the, in, when the season ends, we'll do a full video on searching for the Trequatista. And we'll go through, like, everyone who's, like, on the free transfers, what my scouts have sent me, who's transfer listed. Everybody. It's a video in itself. Trequatista hunting. Right, I'm going to take Danny off. Let's get his number two on. So these are the games that worry me a little bit. We've, we're completely dominant. Now, this is the issue with a little bit at Eagles, but we weren't as strong in that division. I think this is why I shied away from it, but we've had eight efforts. Next year, 1.07. They've had absolutely nothing. One shot, none on target. XG of 0.08. We've just got to be careful that, which can happen, that we just get killed. We've got a free kick with a break or a silly goal. I am going to bring Enriquez on. Yeah, this is what I wanted, Sig. I'm not 
the pace is slow and I think because of the match end has changed with like some of the, like their positional changes and you know like for now the advanced playmaker and the Trequatista is he getting sent off? Yes, I've got it. Oh, what about that? Send him off! Send the dressing gate off! One second. Right, they're down to ten. Get that second goal. Um, I don't think we could do the advanced playmaker and the Trequatista next to each other last year. I don't think it would have worked as well. I don't think the Trequatista would move out of the way. They would literally be stood right next to each other. Into it last 20. Do a little few little changes. Montez is struggling. Oh shit, where's my right? There he is. Yeah, we're a little bit short at right back as well. My right back literally can be, I'm thinking like Nathan Ake kind of defender. A kanji, obviously not as good as them, but you know those sort of more of a centre half, but who's quite agile, quite sharp, an average average passer and stuff because he's literally just sat back behind the ball. They better not score with ten men. They've nearly scored with ten men. Kinell. I've made all my subs apparently. Right. Also, we're trying to create. I don't want this guy to overlap because I'm trying to create a 1v1. Just allow Kevin just to be 1v1 with the fullback <clears throat> and isolate him as much as possible. Ramon over the back. Yeah, uh, uh, probably tomorrow night. It'll probably be done tomorrow night. I'm only a couple of games off. Um, been killed on the XG a little bit, but it, it, it when it when it works it. It looks nice. So yeah, there'll be a Jabby, a Jabby video tomorrow. Probably about, probably about six, no later than six, because I need to get him out a little bit earlier. Hit that first twelve hours a bit better. First few hours, should I say, not twelve. They're gonna bloody score here. We've had 66% of the ball. So this is the thing now. We've, we've won. We're going to win 1-0. We're going to win 1-0. But we've just not... My issue, my worry would be us at 0-0 in these games. How many games are we going to end up drawing 0-0? But we'll, um, we'll deal with that when we come to it. I see the future Malaga title revive. Oh, Deli, yeah. We'll go with it. But that's the sort of play we want. In it, a little so like a swan song. Maybe not for him. Thought he'd have been playing by now, actually, for uh, Evan. Uh, why fairly narrow? To encourage us to suck the plane as much as possible. We'll get the width with the wingers. It also helps with rest defence. Um, if there's a breakdown in play, we'll generally lose it in the middle of the park. And because we're fairly Mara, everyone's closer together, so we should be able to press and hunt down a little bit more. And the pass, and then the, also the passing distances will be shorter because everyone technically should be a little bit closer together. But don't you dare! Full time, please, ref. There we go. 1-0. We've dominated there, boys. Twelve to two. I am looking at like once the league season kicks in, after maybe ten games, we'll do a video on like how the league statistics are looking and how we're comparing. Good start, boys. Three from three.
John Kennedy's? I don't know. John Kennedy's? I don't know. I, haven't, I don't think I would have seen it. John Kennedy's? Who does he play for? No one else has played. I speak Wally. Hi, first live stream. For you or for me? I ain't seen it. I haven't actually seen... Um, I, I recorded it. I recorded it because it was on BBC like three. And the idea was that I was going to do a video on um, Denise. And I've just not got... Because people have asked for it for a while. Like doing a Denise Fluminense video is like impossible to do. Because they just change so much. There's general tactic... No, depending on what personnel they've got in the team, it ch the tactic completely changes. So, like, sometimes Marcelo is, like, a rampaging left wing winger. And then the next time he is playing, like, really inverted. So my idea was that I was just going to copy the tactic from the, from the final. And I ain't got around to doing it. And in the end, I've not even watched any of the goals. I've also recorded Leverkusen's. Did Leverkusen win today? They were playing in Union Berlin. Come on, boys. I'm really thirsty, and we're 12 likes away from a from a glass of... I think it's uh, that brand that used to sponsor Man United. What was I looking at? I tell you what, my mind is terrible at the moment. Sofa score. 11. Uh, where are we? Yeah. They've been quite easy on the eye to watch. There's loads of videos about them on YouTube at the moment. It's pretty cool. So I've managed to watch all them and kind of push it all in. Oh, they won 4 0. Absolute spanking. You've scored. Uh, Nathan Teller scored. Kunsu scored. Jonathan Tarr. Grimaldo scored. Grimaldo is scoring so many goals from like left wing back. And he's more of the more, more reserved wing backs because obviously on the other side they've got um, Fring Pong. Rest me out nine men. Spurs worked far away the other night. Was it? I'm going to watch it. I've, I've got the recorded the full game. And to be honest, I don't know why I've done that. Because, like, I just don't have time to sit and watch, like, a full game. I could watch it on computer tomorrow. Sky Go, I suppose. And I like to watch... I like to pop in Stinger streams on a Monday morning. Right, first... first we're not even first. What's going on here? Oh, Castillo have already played. We're playing a bit, sir, boys. Right, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're offering jobs here to Anton. I don't like that at all. I'm in charge. I'm in charge of hiring all staff. Fact. I want the control. I'll tell you what, you can... You can let people go on coaching courses, Laurent. We have got a B, C and 19s team. He's shit, he's quite good though. What are we offering him? Under 19's fitness coach. He's got nine fitness. 15 mentals. 
it can it can come in, I suppose. Oh, bollocks. Could have to give it more now. <laughs> Disaster. Oh, did he? I said he got sent. I certainly got wounded down to 10 men. They went down to 10 men as well, didn't they? I got a, I got a Bokka shirt through the post, actually, Jace. One of my. Uh, for my shirt vid tomorrow, I got a Bokka shirt through. Right. He bits it. He match loads now, dropped to medium, which is good. That week off. What? Does he. What? On the game or in real life? Sign him up, Man United. I'm starting to think there's so many players. Like, let the, the squad Leverkusen have put together is tremendous. And it and it's just annoys me why Man United can't do that. And why don't we have players like Eze in, my, in my, Man United? Even Morgan's give way. I could take him all day long. It fucks me off. Like Grimaldo as a left back, the absolute super Bonny Boniface. Have they been just been playing now? Have they, Louis? Oh, in game. Okay. Oh, I speak. Ho hopefully. Yesterday was yesterday was okay, but they're shit out there, so. Let's get that right. That shit. Oh, was it? What's the score? I'm selling. No, I'm selling the Bocker one, Jess. It's just for a video. <laughs> have you entered it though, Jess? Have you entered the uh, Athens? Have you entered the shirt giveaway? Oh, Melina, that's a lovely pass. They're playing with a five. Oh, we've worked it so nicely. Hit it, Molina. Oh, boys. That is absolutely fucking tremendous. Right, so we'll start. How far can we go back? It starts with a goalie. Just patient, just keeping it. I love this pass, that pass. What a pass that is. And he's in a little bit narrow, look. We'll get that wing back in at some point. There we go, look. Got a 1v1. Working it around. Bang. I tell you what, boys. That is freaking tremendous. Yeah, Jerry, yeah, totally agree, Jerry, yeah. Totally agree. And Kudos, uh, Kudos was another one as well today. Just sort of thought, ah, oh, just him on the right-hand side. It's like we're scared to... We're scared to take risks on 30, 40 million pound players because they haven't played for that big Europe, like top five European league kind of team yet. Mickey van der Ven at Spurs, another one. James Madison, another one. Maybe the James Madison one's a different one because we probably couldn't have, because of fucking Bruno, having Madison and Fernandez probably wouldn't have worked, but yeah. Nice finish up. 2 0. Oh, 10 likes, boys. That, I tell you what, that goal alone, there's, there's 51 of you in here. That goal alone, that first goal alone, should have should have been enough for ten more likes. I'm switching out to left back now. 
This is why I want to do slow build up and slower tempo and short passing and a narrow for like a more narrow formation because it allows loads of really clever little movements and like Donny now dropping into this little half space. So he's going to go with the outside of the foot. No, he's curled. He's turned, sorry. This left hand side as well, we're in again 3 0. We're fucking flying, boys. I don't know how it works. The, the thing's changed, Antonio, in terms of the money. <laughs> They're making it, they are making it harder for us. Oh, we're four likes. Oh, the likes have popped up there. Four likes for a, for a bevy. Fucking get it. I'm quite happy the missus was like, yeah, you go for it, my love. I've put a cork in it, can't I? The skin is... I've got a thing for that. I'm quite prepared. Boom. There you go, Antonio. I'd maybe sort you maybe your wage bill and stuff out, Antonio. If you're in Champions League and stuff, though, you should be getting a little bit more than minus one mil. Obviously, it's minus. You need to sell some players. Sell Fernandez. He's actually quite good in the game, though. Yeah, I would just love to see... Um, like there's People like Eze just just running a kudos. Eze. I do love Morgan's Gibbs White. And I know it's weird. Like, I don't know how they would how well they would perform in like a squad. I was trying to think of a team outside like the top, say, seven. So the top six in Newcastle. What would be like the Premier League team? Hey, Lee. How are you doing, pal? Welcome in, buddy. I'm only three likes. I haven't had a drink for two weeks. And I said if we get up to 50 likes on this stream, then I'll have a glass of wine. So we're only, we're only three away, pal. So I know you appreciate appreciate the finer things in life. Two. You're one mil over your wage budget. That's maybe why, Antonio. One. It only says 48 on mine. 49 there, it says 49. Was that 50? It's saying 49 on mine. 49 viewers, 49 likes, it says. I'm not seeing 50 likes. Still on 49 likes. Does it? So I'll refresh. Oh, it does say 50. Damn it. Right, after this game, boys, I'll go get it. Cheers, lads. Appreciate that. It's a lovely little bottle as well. It was an offering, has it? Look at us cheering 50 likes. 51. Oh, we're going crazy. Pint. Pint of what? Because it's 51. <laughs> we, drunk, we had some tremendous drink on holiday as well. Just really good. One at nights we went and had cocktails and got like... I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you the story after... Uh, I've got to do a day of recording tomorrow as well, boys. Like Monday's my day. Monday is my day. I'll get a Malaga video done. Tactic video done. I'm doing a skins video as well. Right, win. 3 0, boys. We've only had eight. This is, whoa, this is the issue. We've only had eight shots there, but we have created a really high XG. So, really good quality in terms of chances. Look who's cheering 50 likes, yeah? 51. 51. 
Not yet. No, Anto they won't for me, Antonio, because we're in the third division, mate. Third division of Spain. But I know they're quite, they're quite, they're quite happy. Right, I'm off for a drink. Say bye to the Pepsi Max. Tell you what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll let you watch the girl back. Watch this girl while I go get the wine. Watch the girl. Enjoy. Everyone in stream is pro alcohol. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that goal. That goal will live forever, boys. I'm sorry, but that was wonderful. <laughs> Jace is on the weed. Right, so I've got a Castillero del Diablo. I call it the Man United beer, basically. Man United wine, because that's a, it's like a sponsor in it at Man United. Hang on, I'm delayed on there. Can you see it? Boom. That's what we're on. It goes beautiful with fish, seafood, vegetables, and cheeses. So between uh, 10 and minus 12. All of our grapes are produced with 100% renewable energy. Brilliant. The Pinot Grigio is a full, fresh, vibrant flavour of pear with undertones of citrus fruit, like tangerine. A light to medium bodied wine with the excellent balance and a long, crisp finish. We normally just look at the volume, percentage of volume, it's 12%. There we go. That is, that is wine with Trek. <laughs> Yeah, so I ain't told this this story. Basically, um, the first night we were in Malaga, we were obviously in the Malaga, like where we were, just like 20 minutes from Malaga. We were staying at my sister's house. Sister lives in Spain. And we were going to go all go out for something to eat. And Ralphie just didn't want to go. He just wanted to stay in the apartment because they had a pool there in the apartment. And yeah, he just wanted to stay there. So my sister was like, you two go out. We wanted to go out anyway. I didn't drink of it. Cheers, guys. Cheers. This is how we do things on the channel. It's alcohol driven, the streams. Yeah, and basically, um, cheers. I ain't necking it, no chance. We went out, and like, we don't get to go out very often. Like, it's either money or just timings or whatever, you know, we don't go out very often. Especially like, like out, out, away. So it was nice to be. Like it's the first time we've been abroad together. So we went out, went really nice meal, went to a nice restaurant, a couple of glasses of wine, went to this like beach club bar. There was like no one in it. It's like out of season. Um, got a couple of cocktails. Amy was on. What's the one that you have with mint? It's a popular one. There's loads of mint shoved in it. 
know what it's called. I had a Caipirinha anyway, which is a Brazilian one. Uh, went for more cocktails. We had about four or five cocktails. We then met a couple who were quite a bit older than us, but they could sup. And basically, we can't really remember getting home. Both of us were hungover, sick the next day. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Mojitos, yeah, that was it. Yeah, she likes some mojitos, yeah. I don't, I can't, I can't stick it. But I'd worked out at about six different drinks that night. And it did not go down well. Yeah, so we spent a lot of the morning, like, throwing up and stuff. <laughs> so it calmed us down for the rest of the holiday. The unplanned nights are always the best ones, aren't Because the plan was never to get, like, arsehole. Because I'm 37. I don't, I don't need to... I don't need to get wankered. Oh, we're playing second in the league, boys. This is what I mean. We're playing Sunday. We have a lot of Sunday, Wednesday games. I want to, after the stream's finished, I want to start setting up the recruitment focuses for the positions as well. We've got some filters and stuff that'll be all on the Patreon in a couple of weeks' time as well. We've had three clean sheets though, boys. We've had that crazy 5-3, but then we have had three three clean sheets. It's not even telling us if we're home or away there, is it? That's annoying. I can't change that either. I'll have to say to Renzi, sort that out. I just say home and away, but where are they? Oh, it's just a, it's just a filter. Never mind. It says away there. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, do people do sometimes say that? I've got loads of grey hairs though, though, Sam. Loads of grey hairs there, dude. We started looking at videos of like Ralphie when he was a kid the last few few days, like stuff that pops up on our phone and Jesus like I've changed a lot over the last three years. The last three years is last four years to be fair has killed me. That chip on my tooth is so annoying as well. Right, Castillon. We're 91 to 1. 91 to 1 on now. Right, Gennaro's injured. That's fine. It's not fine. Right, we're going to let Sagnali go in there. Because he's going to have to do summer. I think I'm actually going to sell him on in the summer. Because he's got a little bit of value and a high wage. He's not one of ours. He's 28 as well, yeah. I'll definitely actually be selling him on in the summer. Right, everyone else is in great shape. <laughs> Andrew, no, I'm not, mate, no. No, definitely not. I have a million, money-wise. What would I go? Nah. Nowhere near. I'm about... Two hundred... 
Yeah, I'm about 10% of the way there, mate. <laughs> on a monthly income to be a full-time YouTuber. Full-time hours, though. The videos have done all right so far in FM24. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. The growth's been pretty good. I've seen a nice little upturn in, in money and views and new subs and stuff, which you do get in the new game, but I didn't get it last year. And then these streams are just because I enjoy streaming. Hope you all well, Andrew. Right, Castillon. They're up there. We're away from home. This will see how good we are. Um, and we've got now in the wage budget, uh, Thabo, we're over our wage budget. We're trying not to sign anyone in season one. I think right now our squad is, our team is good enough to get promoted. So I don't want to waste any any kind of money until we get to the end of the season, basically. Unless we have some injuries. We haven't got any loans in this team, so we might, and we might see if we can pick up maybe a couple of loans or something. Trying to be clever with the money because I know Spain is so bad to compete at the top. So we're going to try and be as sensible as we possibly can. And I think we can do, we get through without without spending any. Obviously, it gets to season two and we're still in this t this division. Then we'll have to we'll have to spend. But I think we can get out without doing it. Yeah, I do, hopefully I don't know how long it's going to last, Antonio. But it'd be pretty cool to see how long it lasts. It's always. They're generally fun jobs, which seem hardest to do full time. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Jed. like lo loads of like. I think once you get on the, tr especially the YouTube stuff, like people are making, like even Josh Daly, is he's absolutely raking in shitloads for his streams, his videos, and his Patreon. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I think I would struggle to come up with ideas. I think if I could do it as I'm doing now and just stream, play main, main games, do maybe two tactics a week, I could deal with that. And a couple of other videos, I could deal with that, no problem. But stuff like the other boys put out, like Luke and like Luke and Tom, for instance, because the big, big boys like Kevin um, work the space, they just do the Let's Plays and everyone watches it and it's fine. Whereas Luke and Tom really have to think of like Tom does more experiments and stuff and Luke does obviously the rebuilds and that but so much work and ideas and why, what especially for Tom like fuck what idea what video is going to be next what video is going to be next what video is going to be next and I couldn't I couldn't do I couldn't do that it drive me insane this channel drives me insane even on my level so I could not I don't have the the mental the mental strength to, to ever be like a full-time YouTuber, I don't think. If you could give me a wage now that I'm currently on and doing what I'm doing here with maybe an extra couple of videos a week, I'd, I'd take it without the pressure. But I think to earn the big, big bucks, you've got to have all these fancy items and make videos that you don't want to do. So I'm happy with how, how I am at the moment. And it, it gets close to taking the fun out of it as it is. I'm quite lucky that this is why I've said like this Malaga save is going to be a huge part of the channel because if it's not, then I'll just get bogged down by doing, trying to like find the next video that'll get me certain thousand views and yeah. Oh, the thing on YouTube there is no one doing in-depth talking about the rules. Work with another. Yeah, this is cheap. I've never even heard that before. I'm aiming on doing a couple of like positional roles and what position, different positions do for, but so like, you know, if you're looking at picking a right winger, what does that do? You know, do you pick... What a strike that is. Melina, you beautiful man. Um, you know, like the difference between an inside forward inverted winger and then a winger. But yeah, I couldn't cope. I could not cope with doing it full time. 
So hats off to the other guys. That is a fucking belter. <laughs> Manu. We'll drink to that. Oh, pen? No. There's no VAR either. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, Jen. I'd love... Like, to be fair, my Patreon has grown considerably, and it is growing... You know, it grows nearly every day. There's always, like, one, like... A week, I'm going to get five people and you a week and stuff, which is really cool. But it's still, like, a million miles off. It'd be nice to get more money and then just make us like more comfortable at home. I said, I said, I said, hats off to the guys that do it as a job and like to be to be honest, like Luzio and work the space don't have to think as twice even remotely as hard as what Luke and Tom do. Kev does his same save year in year out and obviously work the space just picks a save and it just gets shitload of views. So that would be the dream. <laughs> that would be the dream. Whereas. The other one, like Tom, Tom's must be constantly, it'd keep, I'm a really bad sleeper. I'm always worried about like any, like anything. Work, money, house, they've scored, anything. So I couldn't deal with like another thing. It keeps me awake anyway at the moment. FM and the channel. So I, I wouldn't want the, the added pressure of it being money focused. I have, yeah, I have, I have plenty of ideas as well for videos and just because I've got to condense it into three or four videos a week, some just never get done. Are we hanging on a bit here now, boys? Block. They've only had two shots. Come on, Dan, let's have a little bit of quality from you, son. Just one little cross. He's in, done, he's in. Trick with two. Oh, it fell to Roberto, he's put it over. Take your digs out, dogs out. Dory's chairs. Yeah, I think everyone's different though, Matt. Like, Luke, Luke is... Like, I, I do watch Luke's stuff. Well, I watch his rebuilds on a Monday when I'm cooking my tea. Um, I like a, a thing of, of watching them because I do enjoy them with his old... Like, him and his old man. But I, Luke's content is very different to mine. So our audience... Like, I think there'll be a lot of crossover with, like, mine and maybe Stinger's content. Um... But especially Luke's and Tom's, like, so different target audience, I would say, to, to man. Right, we're, we're getting injuries galore in the midfield, which is a bit of a nightmare. Come on. Three shots, two on target for them. They've had the ball, though, boys. Through their right backs. Their right back has been very busy. It's over. Right, there's 100% record gone, boys. But we're away from a team that were up there at the top of the league. Probably. Could be the hardest away game. No, this is the thing with the Trequatista, Sigs. This is the thing with the Trequatista, mate. That's the thing. Right, my anchor's out for three to six weeks. Brilliant. Central midfielder out five to six. Brilliant. Yeah, he's not done out. Five, five appearances, no goals, one assist. An XG of... I wonder what his key passes is, though. He's not, like... To be honest, 
He's not like a million. He's not well suited to it. He's a bit of jack of all trades, but he's not amazing. Like he's only got eleven vision. He's definitely a stopgap. Four key passes. I wonder if there's a stat for that. Yeah, he's fucking way off. That dude's 38 and had 18 key passes. Look at him. Sheesh. He's been about and all, hasn't he? It's definitely something we're going to have to find in terms of getting the best out of him. Yeah. I haven't noticed that because sometimes he's really high. I did actually, he's done really well in, in the preseason games, to be fair. He's done really well. If you, Danny, if you go into FM Slovakia, there might be stuff on there. It, it probably, Matt, it probably will at some point with the tactic, with the trek. You're probably right. Uh, and I go through stages, Andrew, to be honest. I go through stages. I'd imagine at some point, but so far the game I, I think is absolutely tremendous. So I would like to think that I won't as much this year. Adam, thanks for the sub, buddy. There you go, Manuel Pellegrini as well. No, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, Jace. Have you? No, I ain't looked at anything else then. Uh, I'm sure someone just said tonight it was on, though, tonight. Someone messaged, someone put in the chat before saying that it was on. It was on, F third division was on FM Slovakia. I'm sure, I'm sure someone put it in the chat. I didn't dream that. Right, we're two points clear at the top of Castiglione, who we've just played. We've already played a bit, sir. Atletico Madrid would be a bottom. We've got no sixes. We've got no sixes. All my first four choice sixes are out injured. Tremendous. So I am gonna have to play my centre half there. Aren't I? Oh dear God. Have to do is play our dodgy right back. Right. One day will be fine as anchor. Be whether what Lorenzo could do. He's quite tidy to be fair with Lorenzo. Transfer listed. 
Is that what we can do to Dorney? I'm asking to be more direct, you know. Be more direct with it. See if that helps with his numbers a little bit. He got a nice. I'd beef her. They were in Syria. They were in Syria, big Jesus. They were in uh, La Liga 2 last year. And then got relegated. Come on, the boys. <clears throat> there was a time I had a mouth and I came from a family and didn't know what I was that alone. Did I land was that a bridge? Have you ever felt like this before? I, I really want that defensive record to be good. We're on less than goal a game. That's minimum, really. Right, I want a nice 2 0, 3 0, 65% of the ball. That would be absolutely lovely. Up and running already, that's what we want. I missed that. <laughs> Kevin's injured. I missed that goal. I was looking at the chat bloody stuff. The analysis. Man, who's picked it up nicely. It could be on track with to watch for a bit. Look, he's right in there, look. So he's got, you would have thought at some point he's going to get goals. Was it a free kick? Set piece. Great header. I said he's probably going to a roll that we're going to just have to carry. We could play it off the left at some point. We could play it right off the left. Trequitista and then um, the, the can be somewhere else. It could even be a shadow striker. I just love how the AP and the left wing back are working with each other at the moment. I really don't want to change it. Um, yeah, I, I do a little bit, Andrew. It depends on what I'm making. Sometimes I've made, like, my whole save. I've made a couple of data, not databases, but I've made a couple of clubs. I am going to do a, a video creating a club from scratch using the editor. That'll be definitely one. Um, that'll be definitely one video that I do. I was hoping to get it out. I want to get some of the main stuff out really early because, like, the views so far on some of the videos, like, we call Evergreen. Um, have been pretty good, so I want to get stuff like that out of the way. I've got my blueprint, tactical blueprint to do as well. The main tactic video is if I was coaching back in real life, I put that on the after, on the back burner, so I need to get that going really. But that's a, that's a week's worth of work that. All my energy be put into one big. It'd be a long big video. We scored again. Nelson Monte loves a header. This is why I don't want to do the short corner routine because we keep scoring headers. Is this love? Is this it's what we wanted. No shots for them. What do you think of the tunes, boys? This is like a German rock band that have copyright free music. <laughs> uh, it's the best that I could find with words. So I can't do them like synth wave streams where it's just background music. It needed to be, it needs to have words, but obviously I can't play I can't play my Spotify proper playlist because I get DMC'd. 
Right, Fernandez has scored again. He's going to score easy 30 this year. Donny's just getting left behind, bless him. See, that was a... He's there, he's involved. This is, we just want to... I think what we're going to have to do with the Trequatista is just look with our eyes. Rather than look at the numbers, what is he contributing in the match engine when we see it? And if we see the... When we see that, then... If we... If what we're trying to say is if we're happy with what we see in the match engine with a couple of nice turns and touches and passes, then that'll do for me. Yeah, no, Tony. Yeah, he lives in... He doesn't live too far from me, actually. He lives like half an hour away. Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. And then he, he got, but he only really got into FM stuff during COVID. He's probably streaming now, actually. Don't go, but he, I imagine he is. Danny Lorenzo, no goal offside. They're still to have a shot yet, boys. Both from my mouth now. Told you, we're gonna have a shot now. I've opened my fucking gob. Save. Second 56 minutes to have a shot and go. We've scored again. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it, it is. Um, I'd watched it a long time ago. I think he actually got in touch as well when he uh, first started off. And he said who he was and I... Excuse me. I then re-watched it. It's Donny! He's over the bar. See, this is where to get his average ratings up, he needs to bury them ones, doesn't he? He needs to bury them. I'm gonna make some changes here so we don't get take my main men off. I'm scared of them getting injured. Especially while we've got so many Watts it's injured. Midfield is injured. When he says about getting a lad on work experience, he's a wonder kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's gone back into a little bit of it, I think, a little bit of stand-up. I think he's done a couple of kicks recently. I haven't watched it for a long time. I think it would feel weird watching it again now, now, now I know him pretty well. <laughs> There's a lot of true stories in that, though. I think that's a good thing. It's like... Like, you can, re like, resonate with a lot of the stuff that he says. Go on, Donnie, this might be you. This might be your chance. There he is, though. Could be a whole host of videos about the Trequatista. How to sign a Trequatista and then getting the best out of a Trequatista. As long as he's not been like a complete passenger, then I'll take it. I did think this when we when I started it, to be fair. This is what I wanted from games like pretty much complete control. Like we're on 71% of the ball. We've restricted them to 
one shot on target, two shots on target. I love it. Play, play, play. Notice the goalkeeper's listing a little bit more as well. I found in FM23, he'd be saying, play, you've got, you've got play short kicks on, and then he just boots it into channels. A DLF and an inside forward, yeah. The, but while it's working, while it's working, I don't want to build the tactic round a Trek with T-Stock. He's done a 6.6. Like he had a big chance there that he should have scored. He's done plenty of running though. 11.6k. Obviously the ball's coming out to this left hand side a lot. But I don't want to change it. There's like absolute madness to start changing stuff. Ooh, set a new record. <laughs> like, he's only had 66 pass combinations, whereas Molina on that left-hand side's had 105, which doesn't mean, like... Their pass is of real note, but... Like he's completed 20... So that's the one. He's not created any clear-cut chances. But he has completed all 29 of his passes. I've not used it. Um, Sigs, no worries, buddy. Thanks for coming in, mate. Cheers, buddy. He's not... Um... Oh, sex no, he's had, sorry, I tell a lie, he's had two unsex, so 29, 29 out of 31 successful passes, 37 passes received, like Molina is thick of things at the moment. Thirty-seven touches. Yeah, it's something we're gonna have to work on. But he's doing all right. Yeah, he's not. He said if he if he scored that chance, his his thing would have been a lot higher. As long as we can see it, especially when we get that superstar in. Just so we get Dali Ali. Like for me, if we can see him doing bits in the match engine, then we'll take that. We'll take that as a win. My only worry is that we don't have another goal threat. So that's why I think at some point this guy is gonna come an inside forward, probably on still sit narrower, to allow a really big overload on this left hand side. But I think at times that he may be coming inside forward on attack. 
potentially. So we have two goal scorers. Because at the moment, we're just relying on either the set pieces. It's Kevin. I was hoping Kevin on the right-hand side would get double figures. And then the two playmakers, I would hope, would get 15 between them. Right, we're playing Intercity, who are 19th. Anyone back? No. Jesus. Okay. Right. Trek with to watch again. I was hoping he would just combine. Combine a little bit. I think the advanced playmaker took him in. Excuse me, I'm yawning. The advanced playmaker took him in. He's pushing him further up. You notice he's sometimes acting as a second striker, which I don't mind. I don't mind that. Where is it? Like they do drift in and out of games. Someone got to put up. Well, just hope like he, he comes to life. He might come to life right now. You never know. Molina's taking corners as well, so that's where Molina's getting them assist, ass, assists, assists from. That worked great. That first one did not feel taste great. I wish I'd had this. I had a lovely takeaway pizza tonight. Oh my god. The injuries are killing us here, boys. Oh la la. Right. Marillo in and Monte back out there. Nice. Here he is. Here he is. Ooh. He's on corners now in swingers. So, I mean, if he ends up getting a couple of assists from corners, them average ratings are going to go sky high, aren't they? I don't know, mate. Uh, not a clue. I'll have to have a look in the week. I will get him up and running for like later in the week, so I'll, I'll have a look myself, mate. It'll be something to do with the configure file, I would have thought. Oh, what a pass that is. What a ball that is. That is a pass and a half. Get off, that's a Bellotti, that. I love a match momentum graph when it's in your favour. Been really patient, boys. We've, we've knocked it round really nicely. Oh, that was would have been a good goal as well.
mine, my inverted wing back. I've got an inverted full back, so he's just on defend. Fucking scored. Thought he's was offside. Is it way off? Must have been. Right, we're off again. On the left hand side, it's a complete wing back on attack. Which one do you mean, Matt? The right back is an inverted full back, so he should just sit. Yeah, left wing back's complete wing back on attack. That that's what we try and create. So he could slip. To, see, Donny's in a good position here. If he really wanted, to, he could clip him in here. But I think he's gonna go out there to Sanchez. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's put him in. Donny's in. He's in. Oh, he's missed. See, he's getting into areas. He's quite high up. See. Because of the positional play thing now, the if someone moves into that position, then another player moves on. So he's get look, we're pretty much playing with a front two there. That was the dream. So it's there, isn't it? It could be just personnel. It could be a personnel problem. We could try someone else in there in a bit. Could try that Sagnelli. Sagnelli. What is it called? The, the guy that's our biggest earner. Could bang him in there. See what happens. He's got a lot of similar attributes in terms of 12s and 13s and stuff like that. When he gets himself fit. Right. Could just do with a little kick on here, boys. Once again. 10 shots. Lot of XG. 1.62 XG. Oh, well done, goalie. Come out and claimed it. I'll make a couple of changes. I'll try LaRuba. Nil. Ooh, maybe not. See, this is annoying. Like, we've got three. Like, that's my poacher. Why ain't my poacher in there? My poacher should be in the center circle, in the, in the penalty area. There he is now. Ooh. Sanchez. Oh, Roberto scored. 2-0. In fact, he did get his... That's why I want him. We could do. We could do, Herb. We could do. I'll have to see what else we've got on that right midfield. I'm a little bit scared of taking Kevin out of there just because he's doing so well. But we do have options to replace him. We have this guy, to be fair, who could probably do the right midfield, no problem. Do we drop him? Do we drop Dione? Twelve. Yeah, happy with that. Dominated that one. I feel like I don't want to make a, a decision, but it's definitely something we gotta we gotta think about. He's going to have to pull his finger out, basically, isn't he? He is 33. Kevin don't want to play it. And he hasn't really got the vision either for it. Obviously, Molina can... LaRuba... It says LaRuba can do it, the other guy. Got 
week off as well. That gives a little bit of a rest. Doing set pieces day after game. Give him a day off. How's he training? We'll have a look. I have to go into training for that. I think, yeah, potentially. I, I want to give him a time. I want to give him... I don't want to just start changing things. And while we're doing so well, we'll leave it. But yeah, definitely La Ruba... La Rubia is probably the, the option. Obviously, next season we'll have someone else in. This is quite cool. There's a home screen. And I can change this as well to formations first. General performance. Uh, contract expiry dates, finances. Lost a lot of money and Jesus, why have we lost that much money? That's a lot of money. Non footballing costs. Money going out there. Buona zero, Rambo, football fan. Hello, Mr. Trek. Hello, welcome in, boys. We are flying. Go on, try. Try my best, Rambo. Oh, these are fifth. I thought it was going to be a football manager question, not really a computer question, uh, Rambo. No, he's not actually in the club, Jace. I'm not going to touch any of the, the thing is. I'm literally just playing through. And then in the summer, we'll start hitting stuff. Because normally they don't let you do stuff in season one anyway. And I wouldn't know what to ask him, to be honest. Because we have a big... This screen annoys me. That last game was only 664. Sorry, I'm yawning. 19,000. 14,000. We're getting 19,000. Football fan, there you go. Like, that's above my pay, pay grade, Rambo. I'm going to be like, I would be doing the same. I'd be on, like, the SI forums. Have you been on the SI forums? I'll get you a little link. I'll 
post it in there. Right, Dioni's getting a lot of criticism criticism with the uh, stream press, aka you guys. So let's see how we... Should we have a little chat with him? Should we have a little chat? Because you're on a 6.69, mate. So you're struggling. God, she's got a two-year deal on Oh, shit, the bed. I'm not going to point finger at him. It's a bit, a bit intense, that. I need you to play better. I'll work a lot on Provi. I've got something to takes to play for you. I'm just going to do targets. I don't agree with you've got to score, do this and do that. Just play better. Johnny is fine. <laughs> See, he shouldn't because we're because we're sitting narrower. He, sh he shouldn't be isolated, but I think just because the ball is just going out to that left winger like all of the time, and then when he gets chances that he has been getting, it needs to put him away. Like I want, I need him to be the width. I need him to be an outlet because we've got him tucking in narrow. He needs to keep his width just so we have an out ball in terms of getting balls into the box. Eight point five. Shit, we're fucking struggling for bodies here, boys. I can't call any up, you know. I don't think I can call any players up. We have got some exciting prospects. I'll actually just show me to show you the prospects. There's a couple of players. There's actually a winger. Rafael Garid, no, it's not him. It's not him. This one. We've got Antonio Cordero. We've got a striker who. Meh. But it's this dude who's already playing at a decent level. I've got him in the under 19s. Four goals and six. I imagine I can... I can imagine I can call up my 90s. There's hardly anyone there. Could do with him. He's out on loan. Lionel Massey. Oh, there's Rafa. Yeah, he's not bad. Nice few little... Can we call him up? The squad... I always find the squad things quite hard to... Uh, oh, he can play. Beautiful. Put him in there then. So we got our best back four back in. We'll just show, our bench is just a little bit short. Oh, we're Enriquez, he's back for it. Let's get Enriquez back in. Cheers, boys. Happy Sunday. All you lot will be going back to work tomorrow.
I have to work Saturdays though, so. My chip tooth is so annoying, but I'm frightened of how much it's going to cost me. I look like a twat as well. Right, come on, the boys. I'm going to get that. I've got like a, a GIF, like a meme video of goal, but it lasts 17 seconds. Which may be a bit too long every time we score a goal. Maybe just save it for the big ones. Right, we're on Dione watch again. Where is he? I know, I know for the corners, I've pulled everyone back. God, they're, they're having a go. These are fifth. So they're having a little nibble, first five. Let's put out a Dione. There he is. God, he nearly gave away a penalty then. Good save from Herrero. <laughs> Sorry, Chase. Well, I'll hopefully be streaming on Saturday next week. That'll be the plan. I'm just always knackered. Saturday's like the worst day at work because I do the three hours coaching with the little ones and then I'm by myself, which is fine because there's not much to do, but it's just a long day. I think I was there like eight till half five last night. Last night, which doesn't sound a lot, but I just get it on Saturdays like, oh, normally because I go to bed too late on a Friday as well. I was up to like half on doing videos and stuff on Friday night. Roberto, that's a lovely girl, son. Toulouse are after him. So we were looking at contracts, weren't we? He's got a year and a half. He's come through our youth system as well. I hope it will. First shot for us, that. Oh, shot corner. Here's Rafa. Too loopy. No cash, no party. Matty Cash. He's been shit since I uh, put him in my, back in my fantasy football team. First time I put him in two weeks and he got loads of points. He's got like two goals against Burnley. I don't think he's he's had a return since then. Salah captain though, Jace, has been doing me bits. Go on, Robert. Uh, oh, good ever. Good save. Yeah, they're not interested anymore, though. We'll come back. He's going to be probably leading goal scoring in the division, so... Everyone will come looking. Yes and no, Matt. I haven't started it yet. I did pre-season, and obviously when I'm on stream, I don't do it as much, but I need to set up some schedules for it. Um, for the individual trainings, yes. Especially for when I... When I get to trim down the, the squads in the youth, I'm kind of trying to do it like a big picture kind of thing where, for now, I'm just like, if you're a new manager coming into a team, you're just sorting the first team out. Sorting the first team. And then as the save develops, especially not over like a few years, but over the course of the first season, we'll have a look at everything else and we'll do everything else. But yeah, training schedules, I'm trying not to fiddle too much with them tonight, but yeah, there will be a big part of 
how we play. To be fair, I'm, w I'm watching what we're doing in terms of the assistant manager and just making sure we're not having too many physicals. And just making sure we're, we've been relevant. So a lot of the stuff will be like build up, chance creation, overlaps, um, probably work on set pieces as well, stuff like that. And do it regularly, like Roberto De Zerbi, every day, every day, every day, every day. It's a nice pass. Right, Donny's in, boys. What's he got? Oh, he's gone round him. He's got us a penalty. There's an assist, boys. There's an assist for the veteran. We're going to fall in love with the Trek Batista, boys, I promise. Whoever it is, every season... Every time they do... Oh, he's taking pen himself. He's taking it himself. There we go. He doesn't get the assist, though, does he? Should get the assist and the goal, really. We'll have to decide which football... I am going to get footballers on these shirts as well. in here. Colazio. That's what I thought it was. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I thought it was when it's a kid. It's Golazzo. Which is a phrase for like, girl. A good girl or something like that. It is, it's alright, isn't it? The wild. The pink golly top's lovely as well. Ralphie wants it for Christmas. Well, he wanted it for his birthday, so... Uh, my Chinese guys aren't doing it, so... Um, my sister and... Uh, Mark, his auntie and uncle, will, will have to get it for him for Christmas from the... They'll get it from the club shop, though, because they only live... 20. I'm just gutted that... I said to him, he's like... We were going to go to the stadium, and then because the weather was so nice and Ralphie just wanted to play, we didn't go... But I had a wish and a gone. And like at the time, I wasn't like Malaga was not. It was on my radar. And then afterwards, I've decided to do Malaga after we've been on holiday, uh, because up until that, I was doing Saint Pauli. So I'm just a bit gutted that I didn't go and get like pictures in the stadium and stuff like that. We were going to go on the tour as well. So really annoying. Looking back, I imagine at some point we'll go again. I don't know if we'll go before the same finishes. Probably not, but. Sanchez loves them little cutbacks. Doney, Doney, I've missed that, boys. That was Doney. He's off. He's on a hat trick, boys. Where is he? Where is he? He's there, look. He always works that little ass. Look, he's saying, just knock it in, look. He's raising his arm, knock it in. But we're in. We're in. Kevin! Awful goal in. He's on a hattie. He's on a hattie. Football again. Sanchez went greedy there. I'm going to praise this, boys, because we're absolutely dominating. What a third kit up the Balaga. Cheers, pal. I haven't paid for this because I get these for like from the fake Chinese guys. Um, but I would recommend buying one, everyone. It's like... The best fourteen pounds you'll spend. I ain't even done a review. I need to do a review for this. I'm doing it tomorrow. 
got a shirt order yes uh, came through last week so ooh who's that Ramon right, let's do some changes we're only into the last five but There we go. 3 0. Two goals for Doni. He's on a nine. He's got the MVP. Two goals and an assist. Did he get the assist? Did he get the assist, did he? Did he get the assist for that? I don't think he did, did he? Oh, he did. He did. He got the two goals and the assist. I didn't realise he got the assist for that. Right, he's absolutely on fire, boys. He's absolutely on fire. Yeah, just without the awful badge, Josh. That West Brom badge for that kit was minging. I think the pink, pink's quite nice. It adds a nice little thing in. Get him in the FPL, yeah. He's, he'll be a 4.5. Yep, yeah, I'll try and remember that next time, Jess. I wouldn't have had room for a sheepskin coat, not with all the shoes that Amy took. Fucking hell. Carnage. We didn't pay for a bag, like, you know, like a big bag that you put under the, like, under the thing in the plane. So getting everything in was tight. Luckily, me and Ralphie travel light. Cheers, Josh. I hope he's going So far, it's proving that way. So far, it's proving that way. I'm going to put some content out on Twitter as well, just screenshots and stuff. So, um, I think my, my Twitter is FM Trek. I'm going to change to FC Trek if I can. But, um, yeah, it's FM, it's FM Trek. So, go give us a follow on there. You guys as well. If Now I notice, when I notice people in my chats and stuff and in my, like, comments and stuff, I do I do follow people back. I are a complete twat. I do follow people that show interest in my channel and my saves and interact try and interact and i put post stuff and people comment and stuff i do like to give them a follow and stuff so if you are chatting and i don't follow you then you can call me out look at pellegrini he looks old excited by inform he's not at betis now is he oh he still is at betis i didn't feel like he wasn't Oh, nice. Racing Santander. Yeah, they were one of my save things a couple of years ago. Like, one of those fallen, not fallen giants, but a club like Malaga had really lost their, like, lost their way. It's beautiful, is he? It is, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, back. Yeah, it's it's not for the faint-hearted. It's not for the faint-hearted. Put it that way. I don't know which one I like the most, actually. The home one is... Um... There. The home one is nice. I think I've got... The home one's really nice. One, two, three. First, home shirt first, and then this one second, and then that one third. Right, same team. A few lads are coming back as well. Playing the Nares, which I think are, are bottom half. I 
the other Plymouth of Spain. It's difficult, football fan. It's like you've got a, you've got to have an understanding of understanding of the game, obviously. But every team is different. A play to play with different, have different strengths. My advice, and I said it in my last video, but like with the preseason video, is like watch if you've got time to burn, and you know, you're not having to rush through stuff. Like watch stuff in like extended highlights. Like play as do, follow my preseason thing of getting loads of games in every five days and just playing, 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 playing. That's what I would do, and play. Watch watch the game as much as possible, and just change things as you go. So, Josh, I've done another little thing on the old tubes. Exclamation save gives you that. So, because I started with an idea in Eagles last year and backed away from it, because we weren't creating enough and we were a bit like stagnant, I've decided I was annoyed because we didn't... I searched for the glory of winning trophies and I still didn't win them. So, this year... I changed tactic too many times. Recruitment came really difficult because we were just signing players. What a goal that is. Signing players that were just good. So we have to play 4-2-3-1. We can't change formation. Um, we can change roles, instructions and, and everything else, but it has to be a 4-2-3-1. I always have to play with the Trequatista. So that's going to be the main point of the save, in particular trying to sign like a... Uh, we've already spoke about Deli Ali and players like that. Just, just to name... Someone a little bit older, maybe. And then always stick to this philosophy of where we're dominating the ball. So we're being quite patient. We're dominating the ball. We're, play we're playing it short. We're quite narrow. We've not got direct on or... You no, know, we haven't got high tempo and we're playing on slightly lower tempo and stuff like that. Um, player search as well. I'm not allowed to use the player search unless I go looking for free transfers or transfer list because that's two things that managers would have options of who's who's available on free who's transfer listed um, I'm not allowed to go around the other countries as well so in the last save I would go to Brazil and then just search through the clubs and have a look and see in under 21s in Colombia I'm not doing that the idea is that I like build up my scouting my scouting network to do that work for me and then I will set up recruitment focuses based on these positions that we've got in the team right now so our recruitment focus is should be quite narrow and just bring us, you know, I'm not putting striker. It will be poacher. What does my poacher need to do? Can he do this, this, this and this? And then that will narrow down in terms of attributes of what, of what player we end up signing, I think. And then the Trequatista will be as free spirit. So yeah, that's the plan. And then if, look, if we don't get to the top, absolutely fine but we'll stick to it and i'm hoping that people enjoy it that we have an idea like i've i've had a real i've, I've read a blog fm tahiti is called he's done a blog and he is building like the world's like basically shit house like horrible team in terms of he's going for strength power aggression bravery and something else he's going for like four or five attrib att attributes and he's using them in the game and it just gives you an extra edge of, I think as well, it makes your recruitment easier because you've got a smaller pool. It focuses on just the players you need rather than, oh, this player's shiny, but well, he doesn't suit my system, but it doesn't matter. I'll sign him anyway and I'll change everything. Well, it's not really how, apart from Man United, it's not really how successful football teams work, is it? Oh, Kevin, look after it there, bud. Dutch Roberto Baggio. Yeah. Who is that? Sidney Van Oydonk. Imagine if we sign Messi, like 38-year-old Messi. Uh, the way I like to play is the most pragmatic football style of the husband. Oh, nice. As I'm Portuguese. Ah, set a bull. Are you from Set Bull? I did a save with them a few years ago. Broken English, okay. That's alright, man. 
Oh, is he still going about cult cultured left foot? Yeah, I think, like, for me, I don't expect it to, like, this save to get, you know, shitload of views. Don't expect that. Yeah, man, I've watched all of his stuff. I was watching it today. Well, listen, I listen to it more. I don't really watch it. I just listen to it while I'm doing other things. So while I was painting today, I had it on. Something I thought about for this save, but I've just left it too late. Like, too late to start fucking about with Python and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's really cool. I kind of want to bring that in. It'd be mint if there was something in FM that was similar. So in a couple of weeks, I will have all my filters set up for each position in terms of what I want. Four or five attributes, key. The only thing that I don't get is like that total score that he gets in Python. Um, so it's quite similar, but without me getting that. I've kind of got to add them up. Not add them up in terms of... I did it a few years ago, actually, with the Man United save. We looked at... Uh, D we called it DNA. I think it was two years ago. We looked at how to basically play the game by looking at five key attributes that Man United didn't have. So it was like work rate, off the ball, determination, stuff like that, and build a squad around that. And if they, they were dropped under a certain level, they'd be told. And it's kind of similar. And we'll do that here. Obviously, you, you get a good idea of those five key attributes. You'll see it on screen, and it'll be a case of saying, right, this player... Donny, you scored again, boys. Let's get the laugh. All right, this guy is dying. Isn't he? There'll be a re there will be a return to settable, Josh. There will be a return to settable. I promise. Before I re hang up the boots, hang up the mic. Go on, Kevin. He's heard. He's heard. Like, and once again, look, 67% possession. They've had three shots, not on target. I wonder where their shots came from as well. There's our shot map. I want their shot map. Good, good, good. Fucking flying boys, we're absolutely flying. Big Dion, <laughs> big Diony. <laughs> I thought you thought that was a Dion Dublin reference there. Uh, for me, uh, for, I, I have no time for him. I'm really disappointed. Um, He's not going to take us. He's not going to take us where we need to be. We're so far off, and I don't see anything that strikes me as he'll get there. He'll get us there. He, he's coming. We we. My issue is that we got him for a reason, because of the style of football he played at Ajax, and he's abandoned it. He's bitched it, and he's abandoned it. We've signed a goalkeeper that can pass out from the back, and he now and now we're even though he's good at it, we're lofting. 50-50 balls to Hoyland. And then you see other people coming like De Zerbe, Pochettino, uh, Ange come in at their clubs and just right, this is how we're playing. Boof, deal, get on with it. So it's really, it's it's really frustrating. Mech plays better. He says he can't do it with bollocks. Bollocks, he can do it. And we make mistakes. I think Man United fans would rather see us trying to play to a set style and We'll get there. And you recruit. It's so hard to recruit. This is the problem. It's so hard to recruit a team for a team when you don't know how the team is going to play. Like, he played with a big number nine 
a lot of the time. Halle, uh, Huntela, Dolberg, he played up there. So, like, Hoyland will be fine. He's good in build-up. He's good at dropping off. He's a little bit raw, but his back-to-goal play is actually really good. Then you've got players like Fernandez, Mount, tied, like, tidy footballers. Casemiro, tidy footballer. Amrabat, tidy footballer. These are all, re- like, decent technical players. There's only the issue is, Rash- like, Rashford doesn't suit it. But he could would then be the more of the other like the outlet, like the David Neres, I suppose, of the Ajax team. So yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not with it at all. Yeah, exactly, Matt. Yeah, Matt, that's exactly why. Yeah, Andre. Yeah, I saw that this morning. But I, I someone said on the radio, Andy Brassel. I think oh, it might have been Tin Vickery, one of the one of the like the main guys that I like listening to on Talksport, like the European and thingy correspondents, said that a deal for Liverpool was pretty much almost done. Right, where is San San Fernando? Their place is a shit hole. We're dominating. I wonder where we are in terms of finances. I bet we like... Yeah, we're second behind Castilla. Which is no surprise. Which is fine, like we dropped down from the division, so some of these tight teams are tiny. But we're playing good stuff while we're doing it. Yeah, true, good thing about um, the severe defeat. Yeah, I will, yeah. That, I said that a while ago, but I think he's, yeah. He's Madrid. He's Madrid bound. Yeah, they're so good, like dynamic. And I, once again, I'm so pissed off because there's players like Diaby that have come from there. He's gone to Aston Villa. He would get a Man United team on that right hand side, like straight away. So frustrating. So frustrating. I don't have a problem with the Mount deal um, because I do think he'll he'll end up being decent value. But just while money's tight, it was probably the, a bad signing. I think Hoyland's going to be amazing, by the way. I think Hoyland will turn into like a club legend. You saw it, like even the 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 miss that he had on Saturday. Did you see it where it came into him and he needed it? Like his, his actual contact of the ball was as good as what you could get, like with the thigh, it was like on his thigh, wasn't it? And it was, it was a decent like attempt, even though it was like two yards, stupid say it was two yards out and he missed, but it's contact and stuff. He tried to thigh it, he thighed it really well and the keeper made it like a decent save. Did he? That'd have been a lone move. Hey, old Mark. I mean, he's not, he's not going to be my Trequatista. Yeah, play for Reading, yeah. Roberto Dione! No. I think that'll change if... Uh, if it happens with... What they're saying about Jim Ratcliffe and uh, Mitchell, Paul Mitchell, the sporting director. If he comes in with a clear plan, he just did a plan, whatever it's going to be in terms of... And like, re- your recruitment then becomes... It'll always be hard for Manchester United because they always had money on. But, right, I, I need a defensive midfielder. Right, let's sign Casemiro because he is world-known, he's a good player, but 
he probably doesn't suit what Tenag wanted. So it's like, right, well, we're playing this way. We need a six who can drop in, who's energy. So like maybe an Amber, like an Amrabat. I'm really surprised of how he struggled so far. He's been really poor, but he fitted the mold of what United needed really well. And it'll be good to see us trying to sign players that fit a, a pattern of a pattern of the recruitment that we should be doing based on what the manager wants, if that makes sense. Rather than just signing, oh, he's shiny, Casemiro, oh, Mount, he's shiny. And it's now proven that the right, like I was always thinking that the right centre half we would get away with for one more season. And I think because of now how Martinez has got injured. And the other one as well, um, Matt, if you're still here, um, that Murillo guy, like fucking trem like, tremendous. He's going to be an absolute, like you're going to lose him at some point and he will probably go on if he carries on the, like, the trajectory he's had. It's like, why does Man United just sign him? Because if he had to choose between Man United and Nottingham Forest, yes, he's starting for Nottingham Forest. Would you like to be the second choice centre half on the left side for Manchester United? Yes, I would. And then we've saved probably 40 million because whatever you've signed him for, we'd have to sign him for. I bet you've signed him for what? 15, 20 million? I wonder how much he's cost. Let's have a look. Oh, he'll be in here. He'll be in the game. What? He'll be in the game. He'll be in the game. Jason Marillo. This dude. He's only 21. 12. Like, why don't why don't Man United sign? I know like, I was looking at attributes in the game, but why don't Man United sign a centre half that can play like that? To be a backup. And then eventually settle in. Yeah, they kind of... I think the worst thing was getting him in to be manager. He should have just been left to do what he does best. He is Nagelsmann. Nagelsmann is probably... I would think if now, regardless if... Say Ten Hag got sacked tomorrow, I think Nagelsmann would still be the favourite and they would allow him to do both. Because Someone said to me, oh, he's manager of Germany, but he's only manager of Germany till the end of the Euros, that's it. I'd be very surprised if he decides to stay. Because he's too young. He's too young, he's too... I imagine he's too ambitious to... Only works certain amount of days, especially as someone who's in, is as intense as him, and so demanding. I would think I'd find it hard to believe that he's happy sat at home, watching, going around watching German, his German players play. Nah, Conte, no, no, no. No. I think at the time, at the time, Jace, I would have been yes, but I think we've avoided it. Quite well, that just how he was at Spurs. But I think, to be fair to him, in in his defence, a lot of stuff had happened at Spurs. In terms of his family and you know his, his daughter, did, I think his daughter was doing like the version of GCSEs. So his wife and his daughter stayed, and then obviously he lost a couple of friends, didn't he? He lost Vidali and then one of his coaches, and yeah, he, I think he wants to be home. I think if. Garcia is going to get sacked right out. Has he been sacked yet, Rudy Garcia? At uh, 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 Napoli. That was just an horrendous appointment. You lead champions and you appoint Rudy Garcia. Like for me, if I was them, I would have gone and sat. I would have, if I was Napoli, I would have gone for Italiano at Fiorentina, someone with a real style. For some reason though, they, they went down that, that really shit route. That was going to be like one of the sackings. It was always going to be hard for him anyway. 
losing Spalletti and then a couple of players. Donny's on a 7.3, boys. Roberto, do you only get the assist? Good did. He got the assist again, boys, with the header for the first goal. He's cooking. Yeah, Lop yeah, Lop <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad shout, actually. He's on his way to Saudi, though, right? Yeah, one, one bad job, don't make him a thing, though. He did really well at Wolves. He was a whinging fucker, though. Fucking hell. He used to always whinge at refs. He was going mental all the time. Dressed like a twat as well. These turtlenecks. It's twenty past twelve, boys. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right. That's a wonderful goal from Danny Sanchez. We've scored some good goals tonight. Right, Dione's coming off. No. Hoffenheim, uh, Hoffenheim, Leipzig, and then Bayern. I don't get the thing with Tuchel either. I don't get the thing with Tuchel at all. They get they're getting carried at the moment because they're so better than everyone else in terms of t the, the players and a good set of players in terms of attitude and you know you've got Kane, Goretzka, um, Kimmich, King Ming Jae, Neuer. You know they've got some top professionals there, so I think they're getting away with. Right, I just find him like one of the most overrated. Managers ever. They said the buying buying guys didn't like how Nagelsmann was doing. Nagelsmann was doing things. Like he used to turn up with on a skateboard and stuff. It's not the buying away apparently. It's offside. It's offside. It's offside. Hey, Eduardo. What do you think of you Portuguese ones, as boys, as well? Do you think, um, what about Ruben Amarin? Will he end up... He's just fallen short with Sporting, hasn't he? A lot of the time. Second half performance, boys. Part of the bus. One, two, three, four, five clean sheets. Oh, are we in a cup? Are we, are we not even in Copa del Rey? Just league. That's it. No cup. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get rid of Ten Hag. A couple of weeks ago, I thought 
to be honest, I'm not overly thinking if we won a couple of games, like Monday, Wednesday night was bad. Like, we need to get control of games better when we're on, when we're, when we're under the cosh a little bit or not backed against the wall so much, but under a little bit of pressure, we just fold every time. But I still wouldn't say right. I don't think Tenag's the man, but I don't think Graham Potter would be the man either. So I'd rather see if Tenag can come to his senses. Like after the Man City game, I thought, right, this is your time now to say, right, I've tried to be suit the squad and do what I think is best for the squad. But right now, I want to do what I want and I want to stick to how I want to play. And he went down the opposite route and said, oh, no, we'll never be Ajax. Awful. All right, okay, awful boards. So I take him. I take Nagelsmann. I take Big Ange. <laughs> I would take Deserby. I don't really like him as a guy. He has a really unlikable quality, doesn't he? He looks like a prick. Doesn't he? He just comes across, I think, I don't know. I just think he comes across as quite cold. But obviously, I, I do love how he's... Once again, this is how I'm playing. And that's why I don't get from Tanag Because they've managed to do it with Brighton. Yes, Brighton have recruited players of a certain style. But let's be honest. Like, Lewis Dunn came from fucking Bristol City. So, you know. There is an element of coach the players you've got and make them better because that's that's really your job. Choices to make now, boys. Yeah, but yeah, it does a little bit. Everyone criticised. I didn't. My, my dad did. My dad's a Tottenham fan, so he was like, oh, we got big hands. I was like, dad, dad. He said he weren't going to spot Spurs. He was sick of Spurs. And I said, he will change everything. And he will, because like, Tottenham just want to like, be entertained, don't they? And then I watched Match of the Day last night, and then Big Ashley Williams was saying he was blaming Spurs for not managing games. And then his, his thing was, I'll just smash the ball into channels for the last two minutes. Yes, they would have probably done that. If they'd have done that that once, they would have probably lost the game. But then the idea is that if you're going to get a team to play a certain way, you need to get them to do it over and over and over and under pressure because when they do it under pressure and at key points in the game, that's where you see then the repetition. That's where they get better at it. Not saying, well, we're going to play like this, but then when it gets a little bit hard, just knock it in channel for someone else to run onto. And then... The idea is, the reason why Man City don't do that is because Pep always says, well, the ball comes back. And the goalkeeper would have got it and he would have launched it back into Spurs' box. But that's shit punditry. I find it amazing how quiet he is on the touchline in terms, you know, like talking to his players. And stuff. Every time you see him, he's just stood, hands in his pockets, just watching. Just watching. I find that one really weird. Weird. Uh, no, I wouldn't take Roger Schmidt. No. They would. They would. If they got someone to sign players properly. Oh, Dione. Dione's gone for a Rabona, lads. And the keeper stood still. <laughs> oh, my life. Yeah, because it just comes back. Like, Son was knackered as well. 
Son was absolutely knackered, so it was just going to come straight back. Kulaveski, it was Kulaveski's, well, D Dyer hit it out of play, so it weren't a good pass, but he was trying to force a pass because Kulaveski uh, didn't drop, he should have dropped it maybe 10 yards and just get it in, get it into his feet. We've conceded a goal here, boys. We've missed a penalty, we've conceded a goal. That ball taken off him there. Oh, we won it back. Oh, we got a pen. Right, Dione. Do not chip it down the middle this time. Is it same? It. Oh no, they've passed it on. They passed it on to Molina. Yes. Good pen. Ooh. Seems to pull our finger out since we went 1 0 down. To be fair, they've had one shot. One shot, one goal. A bit too harsh. Yeah, it was like the thing with Josh. He was I, I, Josh. He's ideal for Man United. Uh, sorry for Forest. Like low block, tack on the break. He just wasn't technical. He was like a bit like Theo Walcott. Like not technically amazing. Worked hard and stuff. But yeah, teams like Forest where they're like looking to counter and and break and stuff. Absolutely ideal. Man United need to sell more players like that. You know, ten, fifteen million. They don't give them enough exposure to first team football, so then the price, you know, Alanga's warranted that fee because he's played enough. He's played a fair few games. Oh, they got a really good loan move like Ghana when he went to Forest, and then that that ended up giving him fifteen. What was it fifteen million to go to uh, Everton? Man United will need to do the same with players like Palestri, who I don't think is good enough. Uh, Hannibal Mejbury is another one. Not good enough. But can we get 10, 10 million, 10, 15 million for him? Maybe. Was he? Nah. Nah, surely not. Is that all it was? 15, it says here. This guy. He might rise to 15. Yeah, Sangari's a weird one. I've yeah, he's. Um... Do you know what it is with Sangare? I don't know if he suits like a really high possession side, and then he's happy just sitting in that hole. And I think at the moment he's having to do too much. <laughs> he's having to do too much chasing. Like at times, yes, t today in the first half, he was like pressing as like a number ten, and because they've got Dominguez and. Uh... Morgan's Gibbs White would it have been? I'm trying to think who else was in that three. Um, yeah, I, I felt like well at PSV he would have never been chasing there. Like, what is he doing? Mangala, yeah. So there, that's my point. That three kind of. Mangala's more of an, like an eight. 
He's like a poor man's Kante. But Sangare just wants to be that six. Buff, keep him there. But I think he's... Oh, Dione, boys! Go, 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 go. He wants to sit, doesn't he? And he's running about. I think he's used to a possession-based side. That's the thing with recruitment sometimes. Yeah, he looks good, but is will he suit how we're going to play? I think he's athletic, athletic enough to do it. Forest needs to be a bit braver. I'd play Sangari as a six, and then have two really like a great, like a ball, like a like Mangala as the eight, and then like Morgan Gibbs White as like another eight, but but really aggressive central midfield and attack for Morgan Gibbs White, and then get another wide player in. Oh, it was disallowed for Gioni as well. That's devastating. Yeah, it was a little bit lost, Matt. It's not his thing. He don't come active till like third. Dominguez is nice. Yeah, Dominguez is good. It's because they've fucking signed about 3,000 players, Josh. That's why. It's interesting. Martin O'Neill said like he, he feels like he's lost. they've lost their identity a little bit. And I do get that. Just because they've completely changed. But they want to stay in the Premier League and the Look, they're going to stay in the Premier League again, aren't you, this year, so. Should be full time here, boys. Good header by Sanchez, that. Oh, keeper's done well. That's how to relieve pressure. Come out and catch it. Are you Forrest Trek? Why? What do you mean? Just, that's the plan. That's the Malaga plan. No, I don't spot Forrest now. I have a thing for Forrest. Like, I'm massive on Brian Clough. Like, Brian Clough's up there, like, probably my top three managers of all time. So, um, I actually was going to start a YouTube save a couple of years ago, and then you got promoted out of nowhere. So, I didn't do it because the fun was gone. Like, uh, sometimes it's hard, Josh, to play like academy players because you're Manchester United. And it's hard to integrate them in, but there needs to be more room for more. Yeah, if, <laughs> I've had a few people say that. That doesn't make me a Forest fan, though. I'm better at Pundrity than Michael Dawson. Look at this, boys. Look at the run. We conceded a goal, though. Right, we're playing Real Madrid next, so Real Madrid will be the last one, boys, because it is nearly one, no, 20 to 1. We've made a good start, though. We've already played 1, 2. We've played 2nd, 4th, and 5th, and 6th, and 7th. We've played a lot of teams there in the first 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Five out of our league as well.
Ooh, fun day. Fun day against Castilla, boys. Gula must be in first team. Uh, Sat Saturday, Dan, probably Saturday, buddy. Arsenal have brought through that many players to be honest like Saka yeah and Ketty yeah but like Martinelli isn't they signed him as like an 18 year old so that don't don't fucking count <laughs> yeah Jace I imagine that Jace don't like Olympiacos so no, I wouldn't take Thomas Frank. No, he's too pragmatic. No. Nah. He's chewing his gum would do my head in. <laughs> Smith just can't stay fit. And then it's just gone beyond him, hasn't it? Like, the the standard has just gone beyond him. Hey, Alex. How you doing, mate? I'm doing, doing good. We're just about to play our last game of the stream, though, because it's, it's late where I am in the world. Um, but we're top. We've only considered 5 and 11. We've scored 27. We're looking good. And we're playing Castilla. Real Madrid B. Never get many fans. Yeah, that'll be nice, Josh. Yeah, Dortmund. That'll be that'll be a, a special video. Um We have been given fierce. I think Granada's one of them. Yeah, Granada and Sevilla. Real Betis and Cadiz is local. Was <laughs> I'm my ex-tech teacher? Yeah. I can't. He's too pragmatic. He's too pragmatic. For me. He's off to bed, but I'll have a, we'll have a, one more little, just a little slurp in there. 34 people in, by the way, at like 20 to nearly quarter to one is tremendous. So I appreciate that. And I hope you, you know, the first stream is always good in terms of numbers, but the numbers have been pretty good all night. So I appreciate it. I think starting at nine definitely helped rather than half nine. So I'll try and make that a thing from now to start at nine. Dioni's on a 7.12 now, boys. Look at him. Four goals, three assists. Expected goals, five. It's coming alive, boys. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It's all right. It's all right. I'll try and find them beers for next week. I then might say, right, I'm only going to drink on my stream days. So if I start streaming Monday to Friday, then, you know, we've got issues. Normally, Amy's not here either when I stream. Um, like, I used to stream on weekends when she was at work, but obviously that's not the case now, so. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to post it in the week. I'll definitely post it on the week. Um, I might just upload it tomorrow and say, there you go. And I think I'll do a after when I get to the end of the season, I'll definitely do like a like a YouTube video on it. Yeah. Well, he's a he's a creator, isn't he? He just he drifts. I think the good thing about a poacher as well is, like, if you're playing with a poacher, you exactly know where he's going to be. He's going to be between those two centre halves. So you just got to slip him the ball. Oh. 
Fomos um drama. <laughs> like, he's going to be his early season. Like next week, we'll, next next week, next season we'll upgrade on him anyway. We've played in extended highlights as well tonight, boys. Yeah, Ozil. He's retired, right? He won't be in the game. That'd be nice. Yeah, it's a good one. Like anything that. I think the key to FM this year is just having a little bit of. Dioni's assist. Having a little bit of control. Try and control games a little bit. Rather than it being like in the past, it's been get it up as quick as you can. I'm really interested to see how this does. I'm in a comp in a couple of weeks' time. And I'll be using. I'm going to use this tactic. So. Yeah, it'd be really good to see how it does in a, like a PvP setting. Gula. Could be a chance, you know, in the second tier to get like, I would like get, imagine getting Gula on loan in like the second. Because look, we, we it's going to be a bottle job in it if we don't get if we don't win the league now. It's going to be an absolute bottle job. So you would hope we get promoted so that you never know what what might become available from the big boys on loan. Excuse me, yo. Really, we're patient with it. Like that's why I want Kevin on that right hand side, just to keep the width, and he's just a complete different style of player. You know that that recruitment over there will be pace, dribbling, probably a bit of power as well. I like the idea of having a big meaty man on that right hand side, like a Triore here, but with skills. See, I can't deal with stuff like that, Matt. I can't deal with that in my life. Maybe for PvP. My, my tactic last year for PvP was a bit smelly. Oh, he's offside, boys, I think. Yeah, he's offside. That's what, well, that's the thing. If we we keep going the way we are with this tactic, we're going to need, like, so the right, even the right winger is going to have to have a little bit of physical, uh, physical capabilities. I'm going to praise it because we're absolutely cruising. Let's get that second goal, then we will be, I wouldn't call 1 0 cruising. To be fair. Ooh, I could save all that. We palmed it in then. can't deal with like when I see tactic videos and they have like two Segundo Volantes on attack or something like that because it's just like unrealistic in it which team would have two DMs that would yeah that's but this is why my content doesn't do as well as other people's content because I don't do shit like that What game is he watching? Uh, what's your real name, football fan? Because, you, you know, I don't want to... Um, I imagine that's not what your mother gave you. Michu, yeah. Who is the Lee Hughes? I don't know. What, in terms of, like, goal scoring? He was a guy at West Brom, right? He was a bagsman, him, wasn't he? <laughs> Cheers, man. Aspas. Ralphie asked me about Aspas the other day because he's always like high on FIFA and I was like, I don't know, mate. You know, he's 85 as well. I was like, I don't know. I don't know why he's 85. Okay. 
This is Kevin, look. Whip it. Pull. Ramon. Oh, that's nice. Donino! To be fair, Jace, this year is probably a little bit easier. Evo. Ivo. Ivo. Welcome, Ivo. My name is very easy, but for you that uh, I'm Portuguese, it might be difficult. My name is Ivo. All right, okay. Yeah, they were good games today. I'm determined to watch Leverkusen for my breakfast in the morning. So then I can set the video right, because that's that's the video on the channel tomorrow night. A jabby. I have a big one, yeah. I used to have a guy in the chat map for ye years. It was during the COVID times. It was called Ivor Bigger. And I used to just call it, after a while, it was like, I can't remember your real name because if, if, if your real name is not on the thing, it's difficult for me to remember. And then we just called him Ivor. And it blatantly wasn't Ivor. Evo. There we go. Like, what's, what is your name, Matt? Because that's... That is that get, like first minister guy of Wales in it or whatever you call it in Wales. But I don't know what you call it. Four 0 as well. Who is it? Are struggling as well, aren't they? Uh... Matthew, that's me. Uh, Union Berlin, wasn't it? I've got a Union Berlin shirt to put on a video as well. Eva, yeah, sorry, I got that wrong, did I? She can't play Trek Batista, though. Good ball. Talking to you, though, I miss sometimes Mr. Girls, boys. It's a lovely, nice little slip pass. Robin Playmaker, boys. I haven't actually looked at possession numbers, to be fair. Like, um... Because of the way I do the tactics, I just set it up as realistic as possible and try not to change things to make it better in the game, if that makes sense. So, um, I think it was like fourth or fifth at the time, tactics. In terms, sorry, in terms of possession. The two uh, the two tens are working really nicely, Hoffman and, and Verts. I've kind of got them exactly how I want them. Uh, and Fringpong as well. The issue with Fring Pong is out of possession he's a wing back, in possession he's a right winger. So when I did it was a complete wing back, he wasn't getting high enough. So like look here, look. Alright, that's a winger on attack. There in the in sort of his attacking midfield there. Looks highest man forward. This is my left wing back here. Too deep. So Fring Pong needs to be up here. So I've got him on wing on attack, but playing right midfield. And it seems to have worked really well. Loads of... Look at them. They're everywhere. We need the sand. We need the palm beach. Palm, uh, palm trees and that, don't we? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's fine. Like, I, I, like, I totally get... I totally get it, but it is what it is. I could soon change my tactics and get the same thumbnail guy to make the same thumbnails and stuff. Exactly as, as all the others, but I'm good. Right, 2-1. Shit. Shit. Great goalkeeping. 
Oh, come on. Full time, boys. Full time. Full time. Full time, ref. Full time. There we go. Win. I'll show you my best prospect before we go. Right, we've picked up another win there, boys. We'll have a little debrief. We'll have a little... We've got... I'm eight minutes short of a four-hour stream. That camera might go off. Camera goes off after a few hours. I'm surprised it's still going, to be fair. Seven in a row, boys. So, 12 played, 11 wins, one draw against Castina, a third. 29 scored, only six conceded. I love that. I love that. We're playing really nice football, but that is amazing. So, like, the how the series is going to go as well, the other ones will... On cue, it went off. What went off? Camera. Camera's still going. Um, the episodes in the week will be a little bit of a build-up of... of Games, there'll be some games in there. Oh, George, mate, we're just about to go, dude. No, you killed me, Matt. Um, hope you're well, though, George. We're just about to go. It's late, mate. It's one o'clock where we are in the world. Yeah, there'll be a couple of games in there that we'll play midweek. Tuesday's episode might be a little bit of just a recap, and then we'll play two games. Show, show everyone on, on the YouTubes. How good the bloody tactic is. Uh, you wanted to see the best play, didn't you? I think if we go there. Yeah, it's Antonio Cordera. I need to get a picture for him. Um, he's not far off what we have now. His, position, his few mentals are a bit low, but he's only six, 16, is he? Yeah, 16. He could be 17 soon. But I think he will be decent for the top two divisions. Sorry, George. Took it off. I have been streaming for nearly four hours, though, so. The newest car. He's going to be a winger, though, because he's based on his pace. Pace at that age is pretty good. So, yeah, I think he will... I was I was it, I was thinking about calling him up to the to our squad to start with, but because we're so many players, so many play. Look, look at all the right wingers I've got. Like ridiculous. He's in the B team, to be fair. Not bad. 50 composure, 50 aggression, 50 first touch. I will do a video purely on all the B team and stuff soon in a couple of weeks as well, once we get bedded in. Once we get bedded in. Oh, I'm loving it, George. Absolutely loving it, mate. Especially when you nail a tactic. So that's our run tonight, boys. Start from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen games we've played. I'll take that. On on uh, extended island extended islands. Couple of clean sheets we've got nice or oh, Cordoba, where are Cordoba? Fourth. So I think those might be the games tomorrow on Tuesday's episode. Meelia and Cordoba. Right. We can't raid anyone. Same time tomorrow. No, cause can't. Cause this is what I do. We just stream like once a week. Once a week, watch the videos. Watch the vids. I've had a right day, mate. I've been busy clean, uh, sorting the lads' 
room out for his birthday, George. So have you played today? Turning a little lad's room into a gaming room for his birthday, pal, so. I was going to see the chat here. The chat looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I was going to put it onto the main screen, but I was a little bit worried that it would take up too much of the screen. If I go back to the screen. I don't actually have it on there. And give me a thought before you go. I think it's too much. Not like on that size. That's too much, look. But it would be somewhat like... Something a bit like that, maybe a bit smaller. Whoop, not like that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. If you you Twitch Twitch people do it, don't they? But yeah. Off, yeah. There you go. It's off. We'll save it for the main screen. This is a free, uh, this is a free band because, um, oh, we smashed them first game at season, Josh. Pitch was shocking, was it? Oh, my, yeah, I, he does. You've deleted it now, but yeah, he does. He does uh, live some life. It's his birthday. He's an only child, so. I don't know, does it? What, to have it on? I think people have it on. Do you know why I think people have it on? I think they have it on so when people watch it back, you know, when they make clips and stuff, it's easy for people to see it as a clip and they understand the context, I think. Eduardo says it looks nice. It looks cool like it is, like, obviously, on the full screen and stuff. Um, the music, the music though, boys, which I'm glad you've asked because it's a German band called On Lap, O N L A P. It's on Spotify. It's copyright free. They were just a German, a German rock band, and I do like my rock music. So yeah, it's been good to listen to. It needs to be pink. Yeah, true. It does we've gone with a kit color tonight, though, haven't we? We've gone with a kit color. Right, thank you. Like, one o'clock in the morning, over 30 people in. It's been tremendous. There will be the next stream. There'll be two videos in the week, Tuesday, Thursday. There'll always be videos Tuesday, Thursday for the save. There's going to be a Xavi Alonso tactic in the, in the Monday night. There may be a Skins video out Wednesday. There's going to be a York City video out Sunday morning, or next Sunday as well. And uh, we will stream on Saturday night, um, 9 o'clock. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good, have a good week. And uh, yeah, take care.